All right, what's going on, everybody? Brian back with another live stream, and we got five minutes before I can click the play button, guys. I can start at exactly 7 o'clock. Um, I want to thank Techland for uh, allowing me to have early access and playing this game um, early. I, I'm really, really excited. I've been looking forward to this game for a really long time. I know a lot of you guys have been looking forward to this for a really long time. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty damn excited to get into this. How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah, so we got, um, I'm playing here on Steam. Now, just so everybody knows, this game will be available for everybody to play in 24 hours. Um, it comes out tomorrow, and it says February 4th, but the game's actually going to be live in the Americas on February 3rd in the evening. So, for instance, if you're Eastern Standard Time like me, the game will be available for everybody at about, uh, what was the time? For, uh, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. The game will be exactly 24 hours from right now. Everybody will be able to play the game. So, yeah, we're going to be playing the game, gamer. I just can't click the play button, dude, uh, for another four minutes. So that that's all we're waiting on right now, dude. It's all we're waiting on right now. And like I said, this is not a gameplay demo. This is not a preview. This is the real game, guys. Like 100% we're playing the game. Uh, we're starting a single ca player campaign tonight. I'll probably do, f you know, quite a few hours of this tonight. Go to sleep, wake up. And then in the afternoon, early afternoon, we're going to do some more tomorrow. And uh, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep it going, guys. We're going to be crushing. That 13 minutes played, yeah, that was 13 minutes played in the menus right there. Yeah, I, I already went in. I made sure that I turned on streamer mode. I made sure that I um, uh, had my graphic settings all good. I haven't started up the game yet, so I, I'm still going to have to tweak my mouse sensitivity once we get in-game. So you guys are going to have to bear with me for about you know a minute or two while I get my mouse sensitivity down. Uh, but other than that, yeah, we're going to be we're going to be getting it in, getting it in, guys. Three more minutes. Yo, it's like the New Year's, the New Year's countdown. It's like the New Year's countdown right now. <laughs> Jeez, Swainy, that is too much, man. Holy crap, with the huge super chat. Seriously, man, really excited for your first triple A pass. Means you are a real boy now. Grats again, B. Hope it gets better for you from here on. Hey, man, I really appreciate that. Seriously, thank you so much. I'm here showing the mega love. Let's get some hearts in the chat, guys. Dude, man, thank you, thank you. Uh, we're definitely we're taking our time with the game, guys. We're not rushing through it. We're gonna try to we're gonna try to see everything the game has to offer. Um, super super excited. Two more minutes, guys. Two more freaking minutes. The worst part is I've had access to this game for like three days now. Um, <laughs> and I I promised that I wouldn't play it. That would wait for um all of us to get together for us to play it as a community. So I've been waiting, and waiting. Hey, San, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome, man. Is there an invasion system like Dying Light 1? I don't know, but there is co-op, guys. Up to four-player co-op in this one um, right off the bat. So, yeah, you could jump in and play with up to four of your friends, which seems pretty damn cool. One more minute, guys. 6.59. I didn't play. That was in the menus. That was in the menus, Tail. I, I was getting my, my graphics set up. Um, my thumbnail image was from the uh, the title screen. That's where we got that from. I have not played the game, though. One Welcome more. Welcome to the family. Son. Hey, yeah. Sweeney with the membership. Welcome to the family, dude. Do you have to be online for co-op? I'm not sure. I'm pr Probably. Probably. The new infected parkour or combat. Yo, uh, uh, 7 o'clock. We're not waiting any longer. Let's do it. There it is. Dying Light 2. Stay human. Let's do it, guys. Not wasting any time. Um, I, I received the copy from uh, Techland. Um, the Techland gave me early access to the game. That's why I'm able to play it. Here it is, guys. We're going to watch the, the, the intro. I... I I skipped over this intentionally when I when I first played. Civilization is a vulnerable thing, a whim of circumstance. At any time, 
the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Haran, an entire city wiped from the map. Those left behind there did not stand a chance. The world's greatest minds came together and found a vaccine against the Haran virus. Finally, mankind had prevailed against the disease. But people always want more. Despite a promise to shutter its labs, the GRE continued its research in secrecy for military purposes. It didn't take long for a variant of THV to escape into the world once more. The fall really? happened more rapidly than anyone could have predicted. The few who survived now live in small enclaves. The only means of contact between distant human settlements are lone individuals, brave or desperate enough to travel on their own across dangerous wastelands. They are known as pilgrims. Pilgrims? Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. City with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. A chance for us to learn from history. And for once, make the right choices. Let me go down, every guys! Choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly. Oh my god! Do <laughs> you see that horde? Let's go! Let's go! Yo, I seen somebody with a spear, dude. I'm like, yo, I hope we get a spear. Alright. Here we go, guys. There it is, guys. Die in light too. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start a new game now. The information that I got from Techland, um, they advised us to start on normal if the game feels too easy to bump it up because they said the difference between normal and hard is very dramatic. So we're gonna start on normal. If it gets too easy at some point, we're just gonna crank that up. Here we go. Twenty thirty six. Fifteen years after the fall. Okay, so this is fifteen years later. So beautiful. Oh my god, the world's like last of a status, guys. You still got it. You know, this is to be more fun. Majors donated thirty dollars. Hope you enjoy it, man. Thank you so much, dude. You still just as fast because a slow pilgrim. Yeah, a dead pilgrim. Yeah, I know, I know. Get up here. I want to show you something. All right. Um. So I just need to turn down my mouse sensitivity. One click. Let me see if that works. Yeah, I might actually be able to just roll with four hundred or four hundred DPI, and we'll see how that works. I might have to tweak it later on. Okay. So jump. 
So far, parkour is super smooth. Hold. Okay, simple enough. Shit, man. You're still strong. Oh no. Is that where I gotta jump? There's nothing to grab onto, Swaybe. Uh, hold on. Do I gotta make the jump over here? Yeah, here we go. There we go. I was like, yo, why won't it let me jump up? It's so, it's so weird. Yo, that spike! Is, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long. But don't get off mushy on me now. Come, I want to show you something. Where are we going? You'll see. It's incredible. What's incredible? Most pilgrims don't last two, three years on the road. How you been kicking around for what? Four years now? And you're still alive. So uh, looking you? at a ledge, jump up. I know. Just press but I'm bar. fucking awesome. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, right. Seriously. I wish I had as much energy as you. Got a new lead on Jane? Nah, the trail went cold after New Paris. Which route did you take? Through Baines or Gary? Eh, Baines. What a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshackle fence. Nobody there had heard of her. So she must have gone to Gary. In that case, I'll head north. So is this the spike from Dying Light Way? Dying Light One? Can't let an opportunity like this go to waste. Uh, no way. Oh, look around. If we're lucky, there's chamomile growing here too. So we got to go around. We got to find some uh, honey and some chamomile. I'm pretty sure we'll get honey right here from the bees. Oh, okay. So we got survivor sense. Okay. Got some honey. I heard some infected somewhere. Play it safe. I wonder what the honey's used for. We're gonna find out here soon. I don't see any chamomile though. Oh, I think I gotta go over there. Hold on. What's wrong? You look like you're doing this for the first time. Well, you've gotten a bit dull since the last time we saw each other, huh? You know. Oh, oh, Back oh to work. over here. I found it. So they don't highlight the um the chamomile like they do the other one. Yeah, this will do. I was looking for the green markers. Do you remember that old herbalist we helped escort to her village? Oh, yeah, the one that had that saying, uh... Remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Combine them and lucky you, you just might go on living. Oh, that's so dope. So it seems like there's, yeah, medical crafting. All right, so press I to bring up the crafting menu. So it, it, this game looks like it's relying more on crafting, which is what I was really, really hoping for. And this is sick. This is super, super sick. So we're going to, um, by forging in the world, we're going to be able to do some, uh, craft some health items. So uh, this is where you store all the parts that you collect. Uh, read the craft parts description to see how they are used and where you can find them. Okay, now how, hover over the medicine blueprint and I can hold that to craft it. Okay, so we just, uh, it's just medicine, a uh, natural balm that heals your wounds, heals for 50, time to apply is four seconds. And for each time I craft it, I get one. Okay, so yeah, if you hover over the stuff here, it says, uh, you know, used in medicine or boosters, used in medicine and boosters, used in weapon mods. Uh, forsaken stores, vehicle trunk. Yeah, so it tells you where you can find each item. 
batteries. Oh man, those sound like they're super rare. Yeah, they're oh, <laughs> batteries are considered like I don't know, they're purple, so that that seems really rare. Okay. Come on, we almost there. I'm on PC. Spider-Man with the sub. Thank you so much, man. Welcome. This is it. Come on. Oh, so you, okay, so we can punch and block. Okay, cool. I was like, yo, we don't have a weapon, dude. Could you punch in the first dime? I don't remember if there was just bare hand melee. Wow. <laughs> Somebody had a nice crib. A, that is a really nice house, man. Holy shit. Damn it. Locked. I'll try to get through here. You check the other side. Take anything we could use. Yeah, sure. All right, so I'm going to loot. Uh, we got to make sure that we start looting. Uh, building up our resources a little bit. Check these cars. I love how overgrown the world has become. Like, it, this shit is its good, guys. Okay, so these cars. Doesn't seem like yeah. I can. My bad. Doesn't seem like I can get, open these trunks. Hi, it, hey, Leah, what the sub? Thank you so much. Oh, I can't make that jump. Um, can't make that jump. Okay, we're gonna gotta climb in here. I see it. And Darth, with the sub, thank you. So this area looks a little sketch. Sean, hey man, thank you so much for the super chat. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's any containers in here we can loot. Be nice if we got a freaking fire axe or something out of there. It's dark as hell, I can't see. Oh yeah, Survivor Sense. Might show me lootables. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So when you use your Survivor Sense, it highlights all the potential lootable containers. Empty. There's nothing here. Place is wiped. Uh, soap. Pretty sure we can use that in crafting later. Nothing in here. Whoops. Wanted to finish looting. I didn't mean to. I thought it was just going to be a room. What the? Hey, everything all right? Yeah. Rats. I think it's time we parted ways. Why? I'm starting to worry about you. And you know our saying. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. Fuck. Seriously, Spike? Why would you just leave me, dude? Party. Lawrence, what the super chat? Thank you so much. Long since lost control of the virus. Welcome to the family, son. Head Bob, man, with the seven months. Thank you so much, dude. I can't believe the GRE went ahead and did it again. You know what I mean? Like, that that's crazy. Here we go. So, we got some resin. 
Uh, rice. Jose Albino donated $5. Burnish Sword is on the new game. I watched the pre-release. It looks pretty awesome. Hey, Jose, thank you so much for the donation, man. Yeah, it's pretty damn good already. I love this setting. I, I really, really like it's like It's almost like that Last of Us setting, you know what I mean? <laughs> We gotta find out what the hell is up with uh, Mike and Weiss. So, like, skeptical of us. I wonder how the wine tasted back then. Who do you voodoo? Hmm. Sounds familiar. And that's what they called art? I don't get abstract either. My simple... Uh, we got some scraps. Ooh, nice. Got a backpack here. Uh, got some rags. Not a zip. Hide area? What does that mean? Oh! You can hide. It's a hide area. Got it, got it. So you can, like, hide under stuff. Oh, oh. I was like, what the hell is a hide area? Hold on. Make sure we check this front room here first. Cigarettes. Rags. Jewelry. Yeah, this game is definitely going to be a loot goblin's heaven. I'm telling you guys right now, I'm already loving the loot. There's so much of it. Now, granted, I don't know what... Oh, there's... That's what we look like. We're roughing it right now. We, like, we're wearing rags, dude. Uh, let me see. Crafting here. So, I, we got some rags, which are used in medicine and weapon mods. A primary source from infected... Weapon mods. So yeah, we, there's stuff for blueprints and shit. All right, let's get it going. I didn't. I, it didn't seem like I had a light yet, but I also didn't check. It didn't tell me um, how to activate a light, Jacob. Sorry, Dave. Goodbye. Yeah. That's heartbreaking. There's nothing like a party to celebrate the end of the world. They died on their own terms. Let's hope we get that lucky, too. I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the garden, okay? Okay. lot of loot in this area. Oh my god, yo, there were so many of them. Look. Jose Albino donated ten dollars. Where did our scare dono go? I don't see you jumping. No, no, we removed it for this stream specifically, um Jose. Just so we weren't spamming with the with the with the scare dono. But man, thank you so much for the donation. I really do appreciate it. And Mooney with the super chat. I really appreciate that man. Wow. How did they all die? Like, I mean, it seems like they went peacefully. Like, I see pill bottles. Um, did they all overdose on like medicine or something? Like, this person was just chilling out, listening to their headphones, and I don't get that, man. To die like that. Who 
Who, man? Thank you so much. So far, the game looks great. It was totally prepped. Just scared. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, man. MC with the super chat, dude. Thank you so much. At least they had each other. Died in a pool, in a, in a, in a pool floaty? It's actually more of a She was classy. Yeah. Metamorphosis. Died with a bottle. <laughs> it's so classy. Didn't even have a pool floaty, guys. That's a that's like a, a life preserver. <laughs> Unboard, welcome to the family, man. I appreciate the membership. It's a nice pool though, nice house. Family, son. Yeah. Guru caught me up in the hype train. Hey, Ted, I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. All right, so we got some stuff down there. I hear some noise. You guys hear that? Sounds like something's rattling. Doug, man, appreciate the super chat, dude. Thank you. Hopefully you get off work soon, man. So far, Smoke, I love the uh, the environment, man. It's very Last of Us world. It, it feels apocalyptic. Dearest I, Mary, I love it. I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. God. Hey, come here. Check this out. Uchiha, what is going on? Paul Brewer with the sub. Thanks, man. Welcome. All right, so it doesn't seem like there's much loot down here in this pool area for the most part. Um, let me see. Do we get up over here, maybe? Yep. That solar panel is nice. The real boogeyman donated $10. So exciting to see you moving up, getting early access. You are on the road to big things. Congrats, bro. Boogie, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. I still can't believe I'm playing this game early. Okay, so I'm trying to hit I'm trying to hit like the button for flashlight. I don't I don't think we have one right now. I mean with the way we're dressed, I mean I doubt we have a flashlight. I don't even see one on our character. That's probably like high a flashlight has to be like high tier loot. I think I've seen some that's where we started. Okay. I'm looking for the loot. And we did nothing up here. All right, let's go see what Spike wants. Yo, it's so cool. This is like Spike. Sit down, buddy. It's Boozer, or you? Buzzer. Thank you so much for the sub, a man. Gift? Ooh. A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. I've just found it by the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Here. We got some kind of baseball bat that, that looked like a nice weapon. It's gone flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Yeah, at least until night falls. True. I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. Nathan, dude, thank you so much for I the super chat. I that guy for you. I track that my guy for it. Uh, yeah, let's ask what guy. Hey, what? What? What guy? Quit pretending. I do you became appreciate a pilgrim to track that fucker down. Waltz, I found someone who knows him. Yo, it's kind of like the Witcher style um, conversations right now. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? <laughs> when I tossed you a beer, thought you guessed right away we were celebrating. 
The guy's in Villador. It's good. Supposedly, he knows Leonard, something about walls. Villador. I saw him that close, huh? Hey, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary, it's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. <laughs> and where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. <laughs> Maybe. When something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected, and suddenly they're knocking on our doors. All right, but you owe me one. Uh, not just one. So what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Told him he'd hear from you soon. I'll just go straight to the city. It's not that simple. Let's Villador was supposed to be one of the so zones. Much, man. Cities that were walled off to keep out the plague. The plan fucked up, but this city and its walls survived. But this guy knows a way in. Get in touch with him and he'll tell you everything. What does he want in return? Didn't say, but he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me, and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe, well, a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes? I was gonna say eyes. Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. So we got a bat. We got do have a melee weapon. And that waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Well, <sighs> my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that waltz guy. Or whoever you're looking for. And remember... 140.200 megahertz at dawn. 140.200. Don't let me forget that, guys. 140.200 megahertz. Yo, it's a real, it's real dope that they're giving um a nice little blast back to uh, Dying Light One, having Spike in the game here. That that shit's crazy dope. Okay, so we got to just leave the compound here. I don't know what the infected situation is going to be like. The woods seem pretty clear for now. So, uh, let me see. So I got this weapon here. How do I access? I don't know how to access the weapon wheel over there. Okay, so that's the kick. Okay, so I already have the, the, the weapon out. It's like a little bat, yeah. Oh, shit. The block. I just jump over here. Hey, Neil, with the sub. Thank you, guys. And we're over 300 likes on the stream already. I really, I really do appreciate that, guys. You hear it? Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so hold tab. Um, okay, so yeah, we got to head over there to that uh, antenna. Let me scope the area from the high ground here. Okay, so I want to get down there. We're going to check out that building. Um, thinking maybe we can go down this way. Why does that sound like, like running around me? Trees. Yo, we're definitely being followed. Hey, hey, Hellion, thank you so much for the sub. Okay, I see an infected over there. Those sound like virals. You know what I mean? And the virals are like semi-intelligent. Uh, can I slide yet? I, I don't know. That's a good question. No. No, it must be a skill. So it just looks like one. Right now, let's try to... Come over here. Got some scraps. Some more chamomile here we can use for... Let's actually get some healing, more healing items crafted up really quick. So we'll go ahead and... Yeah, it's the only thing I can craft. So we'll craft... That's all I can craft. I need to get some more chamomile. Beehive right there. Trying to see if we can get up behind this infected and maybe get a stealth kill. I do kind of want to mess around with the uh, melee combat though and see what it's like. Ah, biters. fighting. Let's see what the combat's all about, baby. One at a time, though. It is. There it is, baby. Got him. So these are just the slow biters. These ones generally aren't... It. Definitely want to loot the bodies, try to get as much loot as we can. Oh, nice, guys. Look at that. We So we found a plumber's hammer. Let's go ahead and grab that. So how do I equip another weapon? Uh, Night runner tools. I don't know what that means. Uh, inventory here. So we got two out of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. I don't, I don't know how to swap weapons though. So it's already equipped. <laughs> well, get out of here, battle net. Get out of here. Okay, so this thing seems pretty dope, too. Go ahead and loot that. Some more healing stuff. Okay, so... I I think I see, figured out the buttons. Two, three... 
So three is switching my melee weapons. Corrupt man with the six Welcome months, the dude. Zone. I appreciate that, man. Guys, holy crap, we got almost a thousand viewers in the chat. I really appreciate that. Man, I appreciate all the support. It, it really means the world to me, guys. Thank you. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Right, so let's get in this house. Be careful, there might be more infected that didn't come out. outside scraps and we can pick it up guys if it ain't nailed down pick it up so we can't get into those rooms A lot of beehives. <laughs> hey! Master, thank you so much for the sub. Another, another infected right there. Is it just the one? Wait, listen, thank you so much, dude. Okay, so none of those container like suitcases are lootable. So we need to get up top there. Try to look over here and see if there's anything. Ooh, other what is that one wearing? The kick is still pretty good like it was in uh, Dying Light 1. Kick is super useful. You gotta watch your stamina though. Um, my stamina is bleeding pretty quick. Is there a map? Let's see. No, no map. At least I don't think so. Let me see. Is there a map? Yeah, map's not available right now. Kurt, what's going on? How you doing? Alright, how the hell do we get up here? <laughs> oh, shit. We got to climb up through this. Anything lootable? There we go. Shit. Uh, where do we go from here? Oh shit, we're running out of stamina. Oh, I was about to. I, yeah, I was about to fall. Well, grab him. Press. Oh, so we can climb. Got it. So you, you, you exhaust your stamina as you're hanging there. Nice, we made it up. Luther with the super, thank you so much, dude. So yeah, no, no loot in the, any of these cars at least.
Check out this bus. Oh, come on, dude. Stop hopping over the car. Get, get on the damn car. Hi, I'm Buttercup with the sub. Welcome. I appreciate that. Is that dead? Get this dead. No, 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 dude. Do we got to go in a tunnel? Don't get close to biters or they'll wake up. Oh, look at them all. That's death right there, dude. Quiet. I jump over there. I'm not gonna lie, I just shit my fucking pants. Drop down on this side. Peek out. Tracos, dude. Thank you so much. Been a while working and listening. Uh, enjoyment you're getting from this playthrough. I hope you have a great day, man. I definitely am, dude. We just made it through the tunnel of death. No problem. I believe in Dying Light, they consider those uh, dark zones. So beautiful. Robert, thank you so much for the sub, man. Damn, let me actually get some more healing crafted up really quick. Now that we have more. Hey, 512. Thank you so much for the super chat. Don't you wish uh, they had base building in Dying Light 2 like an SW? Yo, that'd be sick if you had your own little base. Keep it moving. It's w while on a wall to climb a ledge, okay? Yeah, we gotta we gotta get our stamina upgraded ASAP. I miss some honey. No, dude. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, the hanging drain, stamina drain is no joke. There's some honey right there. We made up for it, guys. Okay, so tap W while moving forward to jump over obstacles. Ooh, that timing, though. Heading up through a national park here.
What are we gonna do when we get in the city, man? Like, are there, are there gonna be beehives in the city? Can't live without my damn beehives. Okay, so it looks like we can cross... Maybe across that? Okay, nice. That ladder's all the way gone. So far, no biters on the way up. It's pretty, pretty clear. Shit. I'm running this on a 3060 Ti. Gotta be on our. Is that my health up there in the corner? Yep. Oh, my health was down a little bit. I up to 521 likes already. Thank you so much. You guys, remember from the, fo the following, the freaking volatiles live in the caves and shit, man. Darker though, we gotta gotta keep it moving. Everybody know there we go. You guys got like some smoke or something coming off them. Wonder if I can kick them up. Oh shit! Yeah, there it is. Kick them off the ledge. So thank you. Jump up there. Jump at swing a rope and pre uh with and press spacebar to grab it. Oh shit. There we go. Uh parkour level up. So we got a parkour skill. Um you leveled up your parkour proficiently proficiency and earn your first parkour skill point. You can now use this to unlock your first parkour skill. Let's see what it's all about. Okay, high jump allows you to reach higher ledges when you hold spacebar when jumping. Hover over the skill icon to read its description. Okay. And so we just hold. So they're just saying that, yeah, this is the first. Oh, man, look at these, though. So. Oh shit, yo, there's a lot of skills here, man. So you can just, I think, level this too? Oh, you need inhibitors, whatever that means. Immunity. Immunity allows you to remain in darkness for longer periods of time. Immunity increases automatically every time you level up. I don't know what that means, guys. Immunity. Um, We'll probably find out later on. Almost there. So this is the high jump? We need to get our hands on a freaking flashlight, man. Getting there. Oh, it's already dark. It's time to hide somewhere for the night. What I'm saying. It won't get any better than this. I don't know, dude. I, I think I'd rather stay in the damn woods or sleep in this car than go in this building. I'm just saying. But see, there's no UV. There's no nothing like that. What the hell is that? 
no, dude. Um, some enemies use power attacks that deal massive damage and can knock you down. When an enemy is about to use a power attack, his health bar starts blinking. I don't. I turn health bars off because that shit just wasn't. And then to perform a dodge, press spacebar while moving back or side to side. Oh. Ah. Woo! Okay. God damn it. We're gonna die. Why is this so hard? <laughs> That it? What is this thing? Did I get it? Okay, yo, that thing is super, super squishy, though. It died really, really quick. Eric, what's going on, man? Let's loot up really quick. That's a new infected. We've never seen that before. Uh, got some uh, ragged copper. It's a long axe. Or the, the raged, raged e cop, cop, whatever you guys know. So we got a nice bladed weapon that we could check out. Is that a two-handed weapon? Okay, so this is always two-handed. Oh my god, look at that thing. It's sick. Turn on a Jenny. I did not expect that. The broadcast station should be here somewhere. Andrew, thank you so much for the sub, man. Welcome. Me personally, I'd kill the song. Make sure my streamer mode's on. Yeah, streamer mode's on. go on some more scraps oh nice got another one of those uh big swords 
Yo, we actually got quite a few weapons already to start with. Someone moved them not long ago. So this guy's Geralt. He's Geralt, man. It's been moved. Okay, let's give it a try. UV. All right, so we're in a safe zone. Um, you've just unlocked the first safe zone, increasing your network of respawn points, okay? All safe zones are equipped with UV lights, which are guaranteed safety at night. Additionally, each safe zone offers access to resting place where you can uh, change the time of day and Aiden's stash where we can uh, store access items. Awesome. This is it. The broadcast station. All right, so we're going to drop, um, we'll drop that in the stash, and I'll keep these other weapons on me for now. So we got another weapon. This is a common one-hand machete. Yo, it's so dark. All right, let's roll. This song was pretty awful. Um, so I believe it was point two hundred, right? One forty point two hundred. I think it was. Yeah, yeah, one forty point two hundred. Uh, this is Aiden. Over. Anyone there looking for a pilgrim? Over. Uh, I guess I have to wait until morning. All right, enough of that. Time to sleep. I'll try again in the morning. All right, so yeah, we'll sleep till morning. We'll wake up. We'll try it again. I like it a lot, Caspi. Now. Shh. It'll be all right. Have you brought 12346? We were supposed to take the patients back to the city. Don't worry. They'll let us go soon. Edie, I'm scared. I'm here with you. You're safe with me. I know. Do what I tell you. separate us this is how we'll always find each other
We won't make it. The military will be here any moment. Wait. Close your eyes. Really, dude? Back on the radio. Now time to contact the guy Spike was talking about. This is Aiden. I'm on frequency 140.200 megahertz. Yes. I was supposed to get in touch with you. I thought you'd change your mind. Why are you looking for Waltz, Pilgrim? To find someone else. Her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a hospital together and... I know who you're looking for, Aiden. You want to know why Waltz was doing those experiments on all of you. Why you are stronger, more durable than others. Now, I just want to find Mia. I've been looking for her since I left the survivor's camp. I... Can you help me or not? Maybe I can. Let's meet, Pilgrim. Where and when? Entrance to the metro tunnel by the bay. You can get inside the tunnels through an open GRE hatch. I'll meet you there. Oh, this sounds sketchy! Guys, we're already over 600 likes on the okay, stream. You're Thank not doing you this so much. Free. I have to leave the city, but I won't make it on my own outside. Take me to New Paris, and we're even. Along the way, I'll tell you everything I know. Over and out. Wait. I have to at least know if she's alive. She's alive. I'm going to the rendezvous. I'll see you later, Rita. All right, sweet. Again, all the new subscribers today, all the likes, I really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. You're all truly amazing. I really appreciate it. So we just find out our sister's alive. What is that? Oh, it's just a street light. Okay, that's where we came in. Is that New Paris or whatever? Is that the city? Oh, look at those walls, dude. Statue scared the shit out of me. Very joyous music. Okay, so that's where we gotta head down. Um, getting a little er more urban over there. So let's let's check out this church really quick, so we can find any loot. Got an artifact.
Is there a field of view option? Um, I don't know. Let me check really quick. There is. I actually wouldn't mind pulling mine back a little bit. I don't see one. So we just land on the mattress, right? Advanced video settings? I'll have to check it out. Any of these cars lootable? I don't think so. Oh, Are we supposed to just jump into the drink? I think we're supposed to just... There it is! <sighs> what, what do you mean I'm leaving a missionary, dude? I wasn't even doing anything! <sighs> Kelly, we haven't seen anything, man. So I told you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta build your own opinion, Hello? dude. It's Aiden. Can you hear me now? People talk a lot of shit. Loud and clear. That means you must be close. I swam across the lake. So you've almost reached the tunnels. There's an entrance, the only one the GRE left when they sealed off the city. I'm coming from the other side. Hurry up. What's wrong? So I don't think I can get into this. Quite a few infected up there, but they're just normal biters, so I'm not too worried about them. Let's try to stay low ground. No reason to engage all those guys. And just beat up our weapons for no reason. Try to stick in the high grass here. Little building there. Oh, got one on us. Body go. Ah! 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 
So our weapons are already about half durability. Uh, can you repair your weapons like you could in um, Dying Light 1? No, so we can modify it. I don't see anything about repairing yet. Might be something that you have to do later on or if you can even do it. But it doesn't matter because I, I have tons of backup weapons, so... on them. So pretty sure we just got to go high ground here. I heard something moving around behind me. What I'm worried about is some virals. We haven't, we haven't had to deal with a viral yet. We had to deal with that crazy... I kind of want to go loot over there, though. Might not be anything over there even worth to go look, but... Looks like the outside of the wall... Maybe like a little bus terminal or something. What's this? Is there a way in this tower? I'm definitely enjoying the game. So I got the game early, guys, because... um. I reached out to Techland as a content creator and asked them for early access, and uh, they gave it to me. So um, that's the only reason why I'm playing today. The game will be available for everybody tomorrow. Oh, shit. Stuff in the bus here, yeah. Good thing we came over here. There is one infected over here. I don't think there's a st I think stealth take. Oh, you can. Nice, dude. Yo, that was a skill that you actually had to unlock in the first game. So right off the bat, you can stealth take down. Oh, I love it. Let's see how do maybe we get in the bus through the top hatch. Nope. How the hell do we get in this bus? I'm on PC right now, yeah. How the hell do we get in this place? Is it the side compartments, maybe? I have no clue, guys. Yeah, there's definitely loot in these things, but I don't see a way in them. Break the glass. Oh, yeah. Let's Maybe the glass on the top here. Check these restrooms here. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, so we weren't even hidden, guys. Now we're, like, actually hidden. We got quite a few infected up top there. Oh, that's a hell of a jump. There we go. Oh, shit. This is our way in. This is the quarantine zone. Um, we actually had to clear these out in the first game. We gotta find a way in. Barbed wire up on these sides. Probably gonna have to climb up this rope, actually. And, um, so jump from this, swing on that rope, maybe? Go. Oh, yes, baby, like Tarzan. Is hell in here. Joey, dude, with the super chat, man. Thank you so much. Hey, Joey, I'll have to check that out, man. Thank you so much. Dark. the tunnels. Hey, can you hear me? I'll meet you soon. Here I come. Don't screw me over. No loot in this area. I was hoping for some good, good stuff in this spot. a nest hey is anybody there This quarantine zone is screwed, man. Oh shit. This doesn't look good. That's what I'm saying, bro. I would have just I would have said screw it, man. We we just wouldn't have came in here. Oh, it's so dark. I guys I can barely see. We need a flashlight or something, man. Definitely like a nest. There's definitely a. Oh my god. Come on, dude, hurry up. Oh shit. Oh, 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 I knew it. Are 
Are you all right? Fuck your bit me. A volatile. Lots of those fuckers in the sewers. Let's get through the light quickly. Where's Mia? Uh, later. We have to move. <laughs> Resist it. It'll pass. Just stay strong. I knew that, guys. If Here you are. We've been looking for you. Uh, Rocha, with the membership, thank you so much and welcome to the family. And Sarah, thank you so much for the sub. He's dead to me. Didn't have it on him. Let's go. Oh, there's a flashlight. I don't have the key. I swear. <laughs> Primitive Fowl donated $5. Insert witty statement about Birdie here. <laughs> GG, Primitive. So I much. It. I did this on my own. Awesome. So we got light. Getting tortured, but we gotta loot, guys. He'll he'll be able to survive a couple more seconds. Man, now we gotta fight human enemies. Like, perform. I gotta break this then. <laughs> that was loud as hell. <laughs> Guys, over 700 likes. I really appreciate that. Rocha with the super chat, man. Thank you. Um, Jump towards monkey bar with that. Okay, and we can... Okay, kind of like the rope, I guess. There it is. Another hammer. I don't want to try that bladed weapon if we have to fight... Human enemies. Okay, we got the double monkey bars here. Okay. Ooh, what's happening? There can't be any antisin left, so I, yo, it's like a death sentence. You get bit nowadays, that has to be it, right? Old world manual. What does that do? Hold on a sec, guys. We're going to check to see what that, What is that? I don't even see it anywhere. Here we go. Um, with a majority of the population dead, knowledge among the working is one of Oh, so this is um, like pre-world technology. It's actually a unique, valuable. So we'll be out of, if we do run into a trailer, we got some stuff to sell already. Plates. Tahir, is it? Wasn't one of the guys from Dying Light One named Tahir? Tahir? It's gone. I, I told you. I'm coming back with the bomb. I'm kind of nervous to fight human enemies, though. Oh. 
both of me. Dad! Where did you hide our key, boy? I don't know what you're talking about. You see us now. Let him go. You're gonna make us let him go, punk? I'd sure like to see you do that. Bring it! Please, why you just let him punch you in the face like that, bro? Okay, perfect block. So, um, press and hold, um, right button to block an enemy attack. Block at the very moment before, last moment to perform a per- Oh, so it's like a parry. Okay, so yeah, so you could see if we can learn how to parry. Nope, I think we just got hit in the face. Nope, hit in the face again. I'm gonna end you. There it is. Nice. So we got some uh, combat skills here. You've leveled up your combat for proficiency and earned your first combat skill point. Now it's time to unlock your first combat skill. Let's see what it is. Vault kick. Allows you to perform a kick while vaulting over an obstacle or a staggered enemy. Hover over a skill icon uh, and read its description. Okay. So run towards a staggered enemy. Press space bar to perform a vault. And then while you're vaulting, I can stack. Boom. Okay. Yeah, I see how it is. Nice. Some kind of goodies we can get off these guys. Loot up here. Oh, hold on. Some coins out of these. Double mace. But any any uh any weapons that we're not gonna use, we can put in our stash or we can sell later on. God, there's so many. Let's get this guy up. Damn, yo, he's jacked up, bro. Who was that? There's no time in my pocket. I left you something. What is this? A GRE access key. The peacekeepers, they found it. We cannot lose it. You were going to tell me what happened to my sister. Where's Mia? You will go to Fish Eye. There. Ask for a girl named the one. Give that to her. With it and her help, you'll learn. You will learn everything. Understand? Protect it. If Waltz gets his hands on it, the whole city, everyone will die. Waltz? Is Waltz here? He is. Oh, they're coming. 
You hear that? Renegades. Run! We'll go together. Take this. Hey, let's go. Come on, take it up, man. Ooh, what the fuck is that, bro? Fuck! There's our lost lamb! And he's not alone. We can fix that. Slaughter him! I got a crude machete parkour combat. Okay, so we got the vault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna practice. We'll practice the vault. I gotta get the parries down though. Been taking it easy on <laughs> oh, that was that was not a good parry. <laughs> oh man, that's sick. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Keep hitting the wrong button. Dude, you that shit clunk. <laughs> shit, our weapon is almost broke already, dude. We gotta loot, dude. We can't just run, bro. The combat is very satisfying, guys. Very, very satisfying. So there's some stuff up here I think we can loot. Let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. We have to run. Let's get the fuck out. Here, are you there? Do you have my key? It's Walt. We have to run. But I'm looking for him. You we idiot. He'll kill you if he finds you. Kill on! Fuck. Get to the vent. This way, you first. Whoa, whoa, whoa. come on, dude. Are you two wait. Waltz can't get the GRE key, remember? What? Let me out. I get fish eye. The one. Go. Damn, the traitor. Uh, hi, Dylan. <laughs> hey, fellas. <laughs> Let him go. Wow, 
Oh, uh, dude, he's barely alive, man. Leave him alone. Why did you betray me? This key is not yours. You can't... Where is it? In here. This is the end. I'm sorry. <sighs> Getting misty? Not really. You're only dying. Before Zero Hour, my grandfather raised horses. Beautiful rare breeds. I love them, dear. What's up with their veins? You One day, his most beloved horse fell off the slope and broke his leg. I thought Grandpa would help him, but he just pulled out his pistol and put it in my hand. He told me, you're doing it for him. Then he pressed my finger on the trigger. I screamed. I wanted my grandfather to die. But years later, I realized what must be done must be done. You leave me no choice, my friend. Someone's here. In the bed! Get it! Oh, dude, go. Breath. We gotta hurry up and get the hell out of here. There's no way they're up. They're keeping up with me right now. Damn! Oh, that hurts. Hey, yeah, our melee weapon is pretty broke. That other one. I, I got this new. Uh, let's finish up our bat. <sighs> Guys, we're at 761 likes. Thank you so much. That is crazy. Oh, oh, what's happening? Shit, we need Antis in. We got bit by a volatile. Here we go. Look at that place. I can heal. I crafted some heals. Um, I, have, I haven't really used them yet. Leave him the fuck alone! 
Here come! He's about to turn! What's his problem? That it was a sneezy thing. He's an outsider! He must be killed! He's with me! You got that? Didn't I tell you not to go anywhere without me, eh? Didn't I fucking tell you? Who the fuck are you? They'll tell you about. Shh, shh, not now. Yada, get the inhibitor. Who the fuck is it? Don't worry, will you? Bring him here. Oh, there it is. There it is. He's moving. Hack on? Kill him, hack on. Kill him before I do it for you. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax. Breathe. <laughs> Seems he hasn't turned. Seems? Hack on, I don't Adia, want thank you that for the sub. here. You've come back to us. Blink if you understand. Ah. Fuck my head. <sighs> You were on the verge of turning, but UV light and inhibitors pulled you back. Uh, the bat helped too, of course. You're alive. Let's keep it that way. Guy almost kills us all and you're chatting him up? Girls, relax. They're frightened. You almost destroyed their workshop. We need to move out. Can you walk? But I... I don't understand. Where are we going? To a safe place. I gotta get to the fisheye. The fisheye? Without the biomarker, you won't get near it. What the hell is that? Biomarker. Monitors the disease's progression in the dark. That's your ticket into the city. Without it... Stepping out of the light is sort of a lottery. You don't know when you'll turn. You need a biomarker. And I know where to find one. Come on. Yo, it, it does sound like Crane, but no, it's a different voice actor. He's turning again. Relax. Everything's under control. It'll be fine, hey? You're weak. Take a minute. Drink. Seriously? What next? Maybe we should draw him a bath. Sounds pretty cozy to me, ladies. Uh, maybe next time. Get banned, Hal. <sighs> she adores me. <sighs> Why are you helping me? Let's get to know each other and find out. You go first. Where'd you get all those? None of your business. You're careful. Good. You live longer. You a real pilgrim? Or did you steal that badge? I'm a... I was, I was a pilgrim. I, An hour to dusk. I'm serious, Hakon. He's not staying the night here. Here. Your weapon and your radio. Not even a pilgrim could get by without that. Come on. Let's go. Nothing to the side. Not bad. Where's the fish eye? The canteen is there, in the center, past the chemical dumps. Uh, I need to get there. Too bad. Only way to go is through the tunnel. They protect it like a portal to the fucking Valhalla. Near impossible to get through. It's my specialty. Where's the tunnel? Not so fast, cowboy. You won't get far without a biomarker. You are a threat to everyone. And you've already seen how people in Villador react to a threat. Well, can you help me? You seem to be familiar with the city. I've lived in this city since before the world got fucked up. 
I could help you, but you need a biomarker. You won't get far without it. Where are you from? Pretty far, I guess. About 2,000 kilometers. Oh, shit. How the heck did you not get infected? That's easy. Didn't let him bite me. Here it's different. Here we're all infected. Heard of Haran. They isolated Villador too. They built walls. They locked us in. Turned out to be the thing that saved us. And how do you get a biomarker? Ah, uh, you can't get them. Unless you know the right people. And I do. Let's go. By the way, I'm Hakon. I'm Aiden. Nice to meet you, Aiden. Welcome to paradise. Yeah. Shit, I mean, it doesn't look that bad to me. Over here. Ah! Oh, you do know the moves. I was in the military. Special unit? For seven years. I even liked it. Except when I didn't. For insubordination, got blacklisted and they zeroed my bank account. Ended up driving a cab. Ouch! How the mighty have fallen. <laughs> Fuck you! At least I got to know my way around the city. Oh! Come on! God! You're too weak. Without an inhibitor, you won't last. Didn't I smash everything in sight last time you gave it to me? That was just the first time. But then it gets better. If you survive, of course. Okay. So how the hell did we do Catch. this? Uh, You're uh, telling me I could have died? If I hadn't given it to you, you would have died anyway. So, why are you helping me? I know people are generally scared of you guys. But one pilgrim saved my life. I was a pilgrim. Now I'm infected. It'll be much harder to travel. <laughs> then welcome to your new beginning, my friend. Check out this place. They're like treasure chests. Usually got good stuff in them. Check it out. I'll wait. So roof groves. While traversing through Villandor, look out for roof groves. Places of dense vegetation recognizable by their um, tall yellow trees. They're a great source of honey, camel meal, and other resources you can use to craft medicine. Um, there's also a chance that you'll find some forgotten weapons uh, there as well. Nice. People hide a lot of things in places like this. In case someone can't make it back to a shelter before dark. There's resin. Lavender there, ammo meal there, so these places are definitely little treasure troves. What's that? C crystals. Someone must have stashed them here. They formed after the chemicals were dumped on us. Some believe they delay infection. Folk superstition. So you don't collect them? Sure I do. Superstitious people pay a fortune for them. And I am always happy to take someone's cash. There's one specific chest I'm after. Come on, let me show you. I don't know if I finished looting. No. everywhere like this doesn't even seem like a safe place to live so, you have an army here Ugh, the 
peacekeepers. They treat people like that too. Watch out for them. They guard the tunnel you want to go through. Tell me more about them. They consider themselves righteous protectors. Uh, they are good at killing infected, so you got to give them credit for that. Yeah, pretty efficient killers. Yeah, but their righteousness comes with a price. Always remember this. You either play by their rules, or you're fucked. Their protection of the bazaar is more like an occupation. Now, on the trail, I met a lot of tough guys who talked about the new order. It always seemed like the same old shit to me. Yeah, it's like that here too. And the PKs are getting worse. I'll proceed with caution. Good. Though it might not help. The PK are a pain. Seriously riling up the bazaar, folks. The bazaar is a box of dynamite one spark away from blowing up. Hey, are we going? You uh, wanted to show me something? Sure. Follow me. So, um, I wonder if those guys are hostile towards us. Yo, just that one jump almost all that took all our stamina. 24 hour stream. Now we're gonna be streaming again tomorrow afternoon though. Almost there. I hope there are no surprises. Starting to get dark out. chest in return we'll get your biomarker fuck thieves wait no 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 leave it mess up that lock and everything's fucked anyway enough for a biomarker where'd you get that I've been all over this city more than most but even I haven't seen working GRE equipment for years. Um, ooh. We got two different options here. I can't say much, but a former GRE scientist, Dylan, gave it to me. A guy named Waltz killed him. And before he died, Dylan gave me the key to keep it from Waltz. It contains important information, apparently. I hope to find out more at the fish eye. We'll have to see, won't we? <sighs> Fuck me. We took too long. Plan B. Run like hell. Find the UV lamp. The bazaar. We can make it. Follow me. Quick. So UV light is the symbol of a safety night or, or yeah, safety at night. This is the only um from the infected. So watch for it when you're being chased. Hold Q to activate your survivor sense and um it'll mark the closest UV light. Hundred and fifty meters. They're close. Go on. Ow. Over there, towards the light. Can you hear that? We're almost there. Further. Oh, 
Open up. Hello? Stand in the light. Uh, Hakon, uh... Come on! Open up now! Hakon, a howler's coming. Uh, what? Biomarkers. There's no time. We've got the howler on our asses. Biomarkers? Didn't you hear? Behind us! I said biomarkers. Here. And his? He's with me. I have to see his biomarker. Let us just inside the door at least. I need to see his biomarker. How about some electronics, huh? Fucker! Open up! Savages, dude! Super chat, dude. Faster! There's more and more of the maiden. That found out! Oh, dude, go, go, go! We'll be safe there. Killian, it's me. Open up! No friends here, huh? Killian! Keep them busy. Killian! Fuck! Killian, come on! Killian! I took over my body this morning and get killed! Chris, get that good sleep, all right, man? Yeah, Stop them! Come on, Killian! Come on, Killian! For this one day! Come on, Killian! Oh, shit, there's a lot of them. Come on, dude, hurry up, man. I doubt we're done. Trouble loves company. Back on, get us in there! I'm trying. Killian, I know you're there. Is that all of them? I think so. Help me. I got a loot purse, bro. Eat him, dude. Oh, God damn it, Gillian. Should have waited a while longer. Almost did. Didn't want to clean your guts off my doorstep in the morning. <laughs> They've left, so can you. Oh, come on. Stop being such a bastard already. Look at this. Where did you... That's rare. Invite us in, or it'll get even more rare. The wife with the super chat. Thank you so much. And who is this? I'm a pilgrim. Haven't been here long, have you? How did you get into town? I'll tell you everything. Just let us in. I waited for a pilgrim once. He was supposed to... Ah, oh, forget it. Doesn't matter anymore. What are you up to, Hakon, huh? 
I gave him an inhibitor. He survived. Are you mad? He needs a biomarker. Don't have one. Bullshit. Seriously. <sighs> Motherfucker. Can't we just the take one up a zombie? Then. I seen I some zombies with them on. It. Always looking for an easy way, huh, Hakon? I just need a UV lamp. I'll come back for you. Hold tight. Hakon, why are you helping him, huh? Remember when we used to help people? Me? Sure. But I doubt you do. Stay here and rest by the lamp. Don't listen to that dumbass. <sighs> Idiot. We used to help people, remember? Sure, I remember, you moron. <laughs> <laughs> I see a couple of you guys asking in the chat, how do I have early access? Um, it's not like a cheat or anything. It's because I'm a content creator. I reached out to um, Techland a few months ago, and I, I, I got early access to the game. All right, so we're going to drop some of these extra weapons in our stash here. I mean, here's our stash. Okay, there we go. It's like, yo, our stash seems pretty small. Go ahead, drop that. Um, I think we'll drop this because it's pretty broken. And we'll drop the bat because it's pretty broken. I'll just keep these three for now. It's almost 850 likes. Thank you so much. Higher fucking causes. And you can just cook biomarkers why are they so hard to get because they're complicated devices hell the factories that made them have been out of commission for years biomarkers are keyed to blood they can't be reused oh, after someone sinks with it okay without them the infection runs unchecked like what's happened to you that's why people pay a fortune to get a new one all the money and crystals they have. Fortunately, me and Hakon found a place where they can still be made. You and Hakon, you known each other long? Too long. What did he mean when he said that you used to help people? We served together in a special, ah, uh, doesn't matter, ancient history. Now, what's wrong with Hakon giving me inhibitors? Kills most people in seconds. It's a powerful drug. Most can't handle it. But I survived. I said most. So don't get excited. Just be careful with them. Where can I rest? So you just got into town. What brought you here? This ain't the promised land. Far from it. I know. It's seen better out where we lived. And Hakon's helping you get there? You seem like a good kid, but take my advice. Don't go doling out trust like penny candy. Hell, how do you know you can trust me? Okay, enough jabber. Go to sleep. Nothing to be done till morning anyway. The thing is, is what the hell's the point of the walls? You know what I mean? If, if it seems like there's more infected inside the walls than there is outside. <laughs> Aiden, Aiden, stupido, babudo. <laughs> Find me. Hmm. Hey, here. Hospital right needed. Got people. <laughs> yeah, very funny. Did you make it? Almost. Biomarkers are at the GRE hospital. I'll be there shortly, but to get the job done, Emma, I, I need think you so to much join for the me. Sub. Where should I go? With Killian's door to your back, you'll be pointing right at it. Hold the line. Okay, so night exploration, awesome. 
<laughs> at night, the city streets are teeming with infected. To stay safe, use the rooftops for travel. Uh, when on the street level, avoid howlers. So they're pretty much like screamers. Um, at all costs, if they see you, they can alert other infected and start a chase. During a chase, be on the lookout for hiding spots um, on the rooftops or hide within the beams of UV. So our goal is to just Keep to the roof. not get Cause spotted at all. Spot you. Yeah, I know. I don't want to go up against any of those anytime soon. Once I was taking my second wife to the hospital. Never drove that fast in my life. Her waters broke three months early. You have kids? There was no saving that one. And other than that, none that I know of. Sorry. It's fine. Low. What normal person would want his kids to see a world like this? So that's what we got to get into. All right, so we're going to have to drop down right there. broken don't worry find the old bus a bus at zero hour a bus crashed into the hospital broke through the wall you can use it to get inside since no one could get in there's a good chance there will be some markers left Check. so we got some infected down there but it doesn't seem like there's any howlers over there I don't remember can the zombies see flashlights in dying light power right there We're gonna go high ground over here. Oh, actually, can I just... The over here? Yeah, it's over here. Right there's the bus, okay. I was going the wrong way. the main entrance I marked a safe route for you I'm waiting by the lobby let's see if there's any goodies in here no lootables that I can see Research. When it all got fucked, they grabbed research volunteers. And they paid them loads of money. What was the result? A lot of shit. <clears throat> Just a little more. We don't have much time. Stay close to me. What are these spores, man?
door's locked. You know how to open locks? Sure. Turn the key. What if you don't have a key? Hakon, I've traveled thousands of kilometers. You think doors are a problem for me? <laughs> okay, just checking. I think this room should have all the instruments you need, Maestro. No, oh, are we gonna get some, some scrap? Lock picking stuff? You can make lock picks out of that. Awesome. So we just got a new crafting recipe. Uh, yes, so we can craft some lock picks. Um, it just costs scrap. We'll produce two. So we'll get a couple crafted right here. Don't get eaten. <laughs> I'm going to try it. Guys, we're almost at 900 likes. Thank you so much. That's insane. Ah, good work. But you want me to do it, dude? All right. So is it the same as before? Pretty sure it's the same. There it is. Um, you didn't lie. You know your stuff. I had no other choice. Was forced to know my stuff. <sighs> oh, what the hell? I think it's definitely worth buying so far, for sure. Dark zone in front of us. Keep quiet. Okay. Yeah. Are you sure? God. Talk to me. This hospital. I've been in one like this before. A GRE facility. Well, there are a few of them around the city. I'm having these these memories. The person I'm looking for is Mia. She's my sister. I told you about Waltz before. <laughs> Mentioned something. Yeah. I don't know. It's all mixed up in my head. 
Oh, you suppressed the memory. Like I did of my third wife. Look, I'm sure the infection ain't helping. Chin up. We'll find the marker and clear out. Let's go. Yeah, thanks. All right, hold on. Give me one sec, guys. I gotta use the gotta use the little boys' room. So, we came up here. Oh, nice. Got a backpack over here. What, did he go down? Got a lot of infected in the building here. <laughs> Derek, what's going on? Yeah, we have to walk past them. If you crouch and move slowly, they shouldn't notice you. Get too close and you're done for. You probably know that already. I do. So many of them. Hey, Bobby, with the sub, thank you so much. I think it's great, man. Yeah, flashlights don't. At least the sleeping ones. I 
wonder what these spores are. <coughs> what is that? Chemicals. Nasty shit. When they lost control of the virus, the GRE started spraying the whole city with that filth. Worked out great for them, huh? <clears throat> mm-hmm. I wonder what these coins are going to be for. Shit. So, this guy you told me about, what was his name? Waltz? Yes. Why did you mention him? Because I remember he was doing some kind of experiment. He wasn't the only one doing them. There were more cities like Villador. With walls cut off from the rest of the world. Many people were working toward a vaccine, Aiden. But... Well, the world is full of shitheads. So... Can you climb up? Sure, just give me a sec. Hurry. We're running out of time. I can't make it. I've got an idea. Remember the cocktail I served you earlier at the girls' workshop? Inhibitors. Exactly. You fell to the first floor. There's some GRE storage down there. Look for white green crates. Inhibitors should be inside. If you take another dose, you should get your strength back. All right, so the GRE access key. We can use this key to pretty much get into um, special locations. Oh, you know what this reminds me of, guys? Days gone. Remember how you would go all around the uh, those those military sites and you would open those containers and you'd get the injectors that would level you up? Uh, that seems like kind of what this is. I'm using a 3060 Ti. Yeah, the Nero sites. Yep. We got company. A volatile. Don't move. You can't handle that. I know. I've seen this fucker.
Oh, I ran off. Try to go around it somehow. And her sleepers. Okay, we got we got one patrolling over there in the back. We'll see if it does a loop. So I'm going to wait. It seems like that zombie's doing circles right there. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to wait for it to get closer and we'll try to stealth kill it. Uh, maybe not. I think the stealth kill might aggro these guys. Shit. So we'll wait for them to turn around again so we can go past. Mistakes were made. Thank you. Thank you. Woo. Woo I think it's seen the bat. Did it see the flashlight? They can see the flashlight. They can see the damn flashlight. Us. He won't. Besides, he'd have to catch us too. 
Come on, don't back out now. Dude, whatever is could possibly be in here is definitely better than what's over there. He's like chicken eighty. Like taking his time, dude. Holy crap. I don't know about you guys, but I would have been in the door like bink. <laughs> Got pigment. Inhibitor container nearby. Whoa. Did you guys hear that? Hey, Tony Bradley with the sub, man. I appreciate that. Welcome. For all of you guys who came, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel today. I really do appreciate it. Welcome to the channel. Um, it's really nice to have you. So many new viewers. Oh, over nine, almost 950 likes on the stream. I... You guys are literally amazing. Showing so much support. I really appreciate it. Soap. Got some rags. Aspirin. Here we go. Camo britches. Let me check those out. So we just got our first piece of armor here. Oh, so we automatically just equipped him, I think. Miles with the sub, thank you. Okay, so we got um, camel britches. These are jog joggers for rangers. Uh, class specialization. So, oh, so we get a reduction in stamina costs with range weapons. Survivor sense durations increased. Parkour XP is increased. And damage with range weapons is increased. And, uh... Imp hey, Impaven, thank you so much for the sub. But not bad. Not bad at all. Wait, why do I only have one weapon on me? Where'd my other weapons go? Didn't I have... Did I store everything? I didn't store them all. The locker. It's impossible. Okay, so here we go. We got the uh, inhibitors. This is uh, the only way to increase your maximum stamina and health. Increasing those skills and those attributes. So, da, 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 okay. Each upgrade requires three inhibitors. If you find them... Go to the skill menu. Okay. Inhibitors can be found in GRE crates hidden inside GRE quarantines and GRE uh, anomaly locations. Additional crates can also be discovered while exploring, exploring off the beaten path. Okay, so yeah, we need a, we need to upgrade our stamina. There it is. There it is. I took the inhibitor. Fantastic. Go back to the elevator. I'm ready. <sighs> Able leg. Great weapon. Great weapon. I wonder if he got chased off by that volatile. Yeah, our stamina's much better. Oh, not much better. Not too much better. But we were able to get up there at least. That was close. Okay, so we got infected over there. I can't wait to, for, for us to find our first trader, man. We're going to be in good good, in good shape. There it is. Look at this. We're going to be rich.
They have hidden weapons? I haven't found any hidden weapons right now. I've been doing... I feel like I've been pretty thorough with looting and searching, but uh, I could have very well missed something already, but... We haven't really gotten to, like, the open, open world yet. We're still kind of on the rails of the... I guess you could say, like, the tutorial. Pretty sure the game's gonna open up uh, eventually, and we'll kind of be able to just go wherever the hell we want. Let's hustle it in. Uh, you were gone a while. How are you feeling? I'm infected, but good to go. Yeah, that's great. Nice. Sorry about this. What? Sorry about what? About that. On behalf of all its whores, bandits, and idiots, I christen you a citizen of Villador. You're about to turn. Get into the light fast. What? Run! So this immunity mechanic, I have no clue what the hell it is. Oh, immunity critical. It's the darkness, so you can oh, hack out, hack out. <sighs> That was close. <sighs> oh, what would you do without me, Pilgrim? <laughs> I never wanted to become a pilgrim. I just sort of fell into it. I roamed the country for another reason entirely. I'm looking for my sister. And then what? And then? What will you do once you find your sister? I'll find some place for us to live. You know, some place quiet. Gotta settle down somewhere now that I'm infected. Where will you go? Any place is better than this city. <laughs> well, that's a pretty low bar. I'll find a place where people aren't afraid of pilgrims. Aren't afraid of me. It'd be nice not to have to run and hide for a while. I always wanted to catch fish. Fish are good. Well, I have a very specific plan. You look like someone with a specific plan. I'd like to live by the ocean. You know, it's supposed to be easier there. I always wanted to learn how to surf. What, you find a bunch of old postcards or something? Ah, don't laugh at my dreams, man. I know one thing. I have to get out of this city. Get out, dude. I just got in. Right from the inside. Will you help me? The ocean's a long way from here. And we're both infected. People don't want pilgrims for their neighbors. Pfft, fuck people. I will help you with them. And you can help me survive on the road. You know the routes. You know how to survive out in the open. What do you think? We cover each other's asses. How does that sound? Get my sister. We'll head out with you, dude. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Awesome. Deal. You won't regret this, Aiden. I promise. As for your goal, here's the situation around here. After the PK commander was murdered, they blocked the route to the center. They're trying to keep the killer from escaping. To get to Fisheye, we have to outsmart them. But I know when they change the night guard. That will be our chance. I'm gonna get the stuff we'll need for the passage. I have to suss out our odds. Meantime, take a look around. Live a little. Uh, come on. Let me show you something. All right, I think the game's gonna open up here for us.
Ooh, this is a blue flower. So poppy. That must be rare or something. We lost our... Oh, didn't we have a little additional little health bar when we um, first started? You get stronger and faster the lower your immunity goes. So I guess you could probably play off that. All right, let's go hop up top here, see if there's any other lootables anywhere. We got some like blue mushroom things. Okay. Just this little box here. All right, you're gonna show me. You're gonna show me the ropes here, dude. What's up? Here, you'll need these. Take a look Ooh. around the city. Old Villador. Plenty of interesting spots to check out. Binos. Um, will allow you to discover important open world locations. Press B to use them. Watch the reticle in the center uh, get smaller. Uh, and then no area. Oh, so it, it's like scouting. It, it's almost like state, state of the case scouting. You know, when you go up on top of the towers and we actually have to um, go ahead and scout each individual location. We'll see how that works here. And it's automatically added to the map. There it is. You see the church? That's where the howlers were after us. It's the center of the district. Uh -huh. Dude, I wasn't done. You can find notice boards with missing people around the city. One of them is near the church. Maybe somehow you'll find something about your sister there. And if not, just have fun. The world's already ended, right? How could things get any worse? I'll be back in touch when I've got a handle on things. All right, so uh, you unlock the open world zoom level. There we go. Oh, wow. Unlock okay, I'm like, yo, why can't I move, dude? Holy shit, how big is the city? How big is the map? There's a whole nother area over here. Oh, shit. Okay. The quarry's end. I don't know how we get over to this area. We'll have to figure that out. But All right, so this must be like the little starter city or something. Um, I, I wonder if... Yeah, so it, it, the, the, the different color shows what factions in, um, in control of that territory. So, for instance... Newfound uh, lost lands over here. This belongs to the Renegade. This is Survivor Territory. This is the Peacekeepers, Peacekeepers, and Survivor Territory. Welcome to Villador. Um, you have now unlocked the open world of Villador. Your first goal is to visit the Survivor's Hub, um, the Bazaar. You'll find merchants and a resting place and a stash. Use binoculars and survey the area to reveal additional locations on the map, like windmills, which activate new safe zones. Okay. There are plenty of places like this in the city waiting for you to discover them. As you explore the world, watch your compass for encounters. They offer a chance to help some of the Villandor citizens in uh, exchange for XP and various rewards. Awesome. Go. 
throwing knives. Okay, so I literally think we just heard an, an encounter somewhere. Seen some red dots over here. Shit, how do we make this jump? Oh, here we go. Okay, so those are just infected. I hear people talking like all over. It's it's so weird. There we go. Let's see what those dots were over here. What? Yep. Did you break another one? You shit me. Who the shit? Shouldn't have come here, asshole. Ugh, I, now, oh, I forgot how to play the game. Choke on this, asshole. No escape now. Ooh, we feel that. that. Should have crafted up some throwing knives. Let's get our parry game back on point. Got him. Oh, I think we got yeah, we got him on the spikes. Come on, dude. Oh, these guys that we just saved? Forget about it. What? Did you want the fucking biters to find us? Dude, relax. I just saved you. Kicked one of the guys off the roof. Oh, nice. Look at all these backpacks here. Uh, I'm going to try to craft up some throwing knives. Uh, right now we have zero ranged weapons whatsoever. So, um, yeah, here we go. Getting our hands on some throwing knives. This will probably be super clutch. Eight. I'll do ten. Okay, so we got, we got ourselves some throwing knives. They're equipped. How do we use them? This is the question. Okay, middle mouse button. Gotcha. Throwing knives interrupt enemy attacks. This just seems like a waste. We got our first range weapon, guys. Guys, we hit 1,000 likes. Jesus, man. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. I really do appreciate that. For this is the news of the last So who are these guys? Are these just survivors? What the hell is going on in the central loop since PK's restricted access? Oh, shit. The renegades are about to attack. Alright, so let's head over to this bazaar. Where is this? Uh there's a safe zone. There it is. It's over here. Yeah, we're gonna head over to the to the bazaar. 
find uh, civilization, man. There's not any like easy places to jump over here. Oh, look at that. Yo, there's just survivors like all over the place. I think that blue marker on the map right there, that's that's an encounter, right? Yeah. Civ Civilization is all up on the roof. There we go. Get it. Hey, come here, asshole. You don't look so bad. <laughs> Wrecked, bro. <laughs> I just assumed I was supposed to kill him, guys. <laughs> yeah, let's try to get off the ground. Ground is bad in Dying Light 2, guys. Oh. Where? It's this way. Okay, so... I just heard the little GRE voice from my key. It said GRE container uh, detected. Now, as you guys see, there's a little um, distance marker, 46 meters. So I could probably just follow this. Oh, okay. Maybe this way. Let me get up higher. Five, 46, 43. These guys bandits? Yep, these guys are bandits. Something fucking way. Here I come. Don't do that, dude. This is impossible. Don't do that, dude. Order up. Here I come. What's up with these throwing knives? It's over here somewhere. I mean, dude, you guys are doing it to yourself. I don't care. Because it's 12, 9, 8, 7. And then here. Oh, I'm throwing change. <laughs> I wasn't here. I wasn't even throwing the knives, guys. I'm sitting here throwing coins. <laughs> there we go. I'm sitting here throwing coins. Like, yo, why are these fucking throwing knives so bad, dude? Oh, I was about to start clowning the throwing knives. I'm sitting here fucking throwing money at them, dude. So, does that mean you can use the money as, um, as, like, distraction? <laughs> I was trying to buy their their their, uh, their love. They're like, what is this guy doing? 
immunity boosters. Man, some of this stuff sounds really good. Here we go. So we just got some new new gloves. Let's swap those. Oh, we actually had we had ranger gloves too. Which ones are better though? So these are Survivor Sense Duration. Health regen is better on the nurse mitts, but all around the ranger gloves are actually better. I should have been freaking paying attention to my, my gear. Okay, so we got ourselves some new gloves. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Screw that, let's go. So I, my, I'm confused, why would they want to, oh yo, yeah, when you go into the dark, your immunity timer kicks in. Stay off the ground. That jump. Can we? Yes, thank you. Safe. All right, so we just got to keep heading this way. The bazaar is over here. Watch going indoors. <clears throat> yeah, my weapons are. Yeah, my weapons almost broke. It's all good. I'm gonna access this, my stash when I get over here. We're gonna try to. Um... Military convoy. Oh shit! What is that though? What is that? You see that? I was, I was just about to say, man, you know, maybe we should go down here and clear out this military convoy, see what kind of goodies we can get. But I don't know. There, there's a ton of infected down there. I don't think we're in a position to really take that right now, to be honest with you guys. We got another encounter up here. Yeah, I've never, never seen one of those before. Bill, how's New Paris holding up? I have a cousin there. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Inditos, I'll take it. Swanny. 1k likes, hey man, I know, it's so crazy. Thank you so much for the super chat, dude. That damn pick is stuck. And get it unstuck. Do, 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 do. Just do, give me a second. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? You're dead. Or you asshole. <laughs> Nice. Both of them are on fire, dude. All three of them are on fire. Motherfucker. Yes. So we can just kick, like, get him into. Oh, there's infected right there. Um, so I don't know. I right now I don't have the ability to fix weapons on the fly. No, I think. In, oh, we got a hat and fighter gloves. Oh, we're styling, guys. You see that hat? We did it. 
Okay, yeah, so the purple uniques are better than... Let's see what's in here. Uh, right, I, I like the ranger set better. It, it seems like it has better combat stats. The medic stat... Ooh, look at that. Broken shovel. So good. I'm gonna get in there and loot that. We've got a stealth pig. Oh. There we go. Yeah, you step into any dark area, your 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 timer starts. That's intense. I'm pretty sure as you play, you can increase that timer. Yo, that's pretty sick, man. That's a really, really crazy mechanic. Got another infected right there. I have a legendary weapon. Get out of here. Where? I know I got this crude machete. This is an artifact, this hammer that we got here. It has like three mod slots on it too, yo. That that art of, that anti camera is actually really good. Holy crap! I'm actually gonna swap out this for this. I want to use these low tier weapons first. Let's see if we can get another stealth gear here. That legendary table leg. I love the fact that we can uh, stealth kill right off the bat and don't need like a skill for it. Yeah. yeah, I'm watching that timer. So do you just straight up die if, if that timer hits zero? I'm trying to see if we can get our hands on a little more loot before we get over to the bazaar. Bandits? Nope. Okay, so this place is fenced off. This is this is the bazaar. Is this is this where we tried to get in before? Remember, at, we came here at night, and they turned the lights off. They wouldn't let us in unless we had the 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 beeper. That this is that location, I believe, right? Because I believe me and uh, Hakon were standing here, and then we took off and ran that way. Yeah, you can't. I couldn't loot this beer. You're new here, aren't you? You'll see. This place is full of secrets. Most of them you don't want to uncover. How'd that happen? I keep telling everyone we should be getting ready for winter. That's bad. I'm loving the game so far. Go. Dude, what a day. No freaking way I can do it. Hey, bro. What's your problem? Hey, aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Man, you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. 
Hey, what's a craftmaster? You're not from around here, right? Craftmasters are people who invent new technology, design innovations, all sorts of gadgets that might help in combat. Alberto's the grand master around here. Like I said, I'm his apprentice. People laugh at him, that he's slow and not very eloquent, but he's a real friggin' genius. What's this test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. I already invented underwater reading glasses for Alberto, then a retractable dog leash, but he kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. All my ideas are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then I hit it. Our goats, they're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. Hey. I like it, dude. Yeah, that's a little rough. Stressed goats can give bitter milk. Seriously? Goats get stressed? And wouldn't you, if someone electrocuted you and then went for your crotch? Oh, no. It's only a very small voltage. Won't do more than tickle them. So, what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Underwater reading glasses nah, for the win, baby. Something much more interesting. <laughs> Underwater see, reading glasses, give them. I em. just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure, but it's a dark place, <sighs> full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case, you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. I mean, I'd rather deal with the bandits than night trip to the store, dude. Screw that, man. Wait, I have the parts you need? <laughs> Looks like you're in luck after all. I have the parts you need on me. Are you serious? That's just fantastic. Heaven must have sent you. Oh, here. Oh, oh we beat the game. We beat I don't the know game. how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen then, near the wall. All right, so let's track that. Um, okay, so there's some traders in here. Uh, our stash and everything's up there in a bed. Craft masters over here. That's the pilgrim. Right, let's trade, dude. Merchants, here we go. Uh, merchants allow you to buy craft parts, new weapons, and other items, as well as sell valuables and unwanted loot you can collect. Okay, they offer most the most powerful weapons, so visit them often to increase our combat strength. Uh, you can visit merchants at all the main hubs as well as inside uh, assigned facilities and settlements. Oh, dude, a dirty katana, guys! I need that. I need that. All right, so let's sell a bunch of stuff. Tell me, guys, outright, who here needs that katana? Okay, so this is worth 200, 60, 60, 60. Uh, we'll sell all of it. Okay, so we're up to a, a thousand. 
I'm just saying. I need I need I need that katana. I'm just Um This weapon's about to break. We'll just sell it. Sell this table leg. No, those are the ones I'm wearing, so I'll sell the stuff I'm not wearing anymore. Go. All right. Let's see. So, that <laughs> yeah, dude. It's so much, though. It's 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 so much. Um, the walking stick. It's pretty good too. I don't know, guys. We're, I, I might just have to do it. Ooh, some solid shoes. What do, what do we have for our shoes? Let me see. Do I even have shoes on? Oh, let, me, let me see. Do I even have shoes? Oh, we don't even have shoes. Yeah, so let's buy some new shoes. That's probably more important than... uh. Oh, and we can get the little bracers here. So, yeah, let's get some shoes. And... That's all based off range weapons. I don't even have range weapons right now, so I'm not going to worry about that. We could buy mines. Oh, uh, yeah, we got Molotovs. A UV bar. Throw to create an area of UV. I wonder if that's like a consumable. All right, we got to get. I got to do it. I'm sorry, guys. I got to do it. Got to buy the katana. I can't resist. There it is. Where is it? It is. We beat the game. All right. Hey, hey aren't cool. you that pilgrim? Oh, this is that missing. That's that board there. All right, let's go uh, check out this quest area. Where is it? Up on the roof? Some days. Nope, it's back here. How do I start those? My man created the electric fence. As you say, it all seems Everything all right? No. It's grilled. The goat is grilled. I'm such an idiot. What happened? I must have overcalculated the voltage. See, he's useless. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could get it so wrong. I told you it would be a waste of time. Why? I don't think so. This is very, very... It has big, huge... You're saying it has potential. Potential, yes. It could be an effective weapon. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon, it could raise your odds against turned creatures. The brave goat gave its life to science. There's dinner for everyone. Look the goat, man. And you? I take you as a... And pronounce you, uh, uh, hey, uh, Craftmaster? Really? Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. If it's not strong enough, come around to my Craftmaster workshop. Sure, thanks. Just, uh, watch yourself out there. Okay. 
No worries, friend. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, weapon modification. Oh, so we finally unlocked weapon modification. To install weapon mods, you need to have the blueprint for it. Any um, any required craft parts and the right weapon. Uh, cr check the number of mod slots on a weapon icon. The best weapons have three slots available: grip, shaft, and tip. Um, different mods fit into different slots. Uh, now press I in your inventory, choose the right weapon, and s modify it. Find something you like, right. So let me see. Yep, so I can modify this. And I can put spark on it. <laughs> Andrew Brown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's too funny, dude. All right, so now our katana has lightning. Maybe, yeah, you know, we'll put lightning on this crude machete too. Oh, I need more wiring. So one of the things we can do, right? Now that I know I need a specific, um, a specific crafting recipe, right? I can come over here and go to. Uh, I think I have to. Uh, here we go. Wiring, and it tells me where I can find it. Primary source is vehicle trunks and forsaken stores. So that went pretty well for our first mission, I think. Let's go check this board over here. Joe, what's going on? How you doing, man? Looking at all the dead people. That says here they're missing. Same difference. They never find them anyway. Now yeah, then why the board? It's been 15 years. Many people disappeared back then. My neighbor lost his two kids. But life goes on. Except nobody has the courage to take those photographs down. But it's hopeless. Since there are no night runners, the search always ends the same. Yeah, those night runners, tell me about them. What's there to say? Nearly all of them are dead. When they were around, they were the only ones not afraid to go out at night. They rescued those who yeah, didn't maybe we should to become get a night a runner. Shelter. I hate Without nighttime. Without the entire group. Only a few survived, including Frank, their former commander. Once upon a time, he was great. Now, he drinks himself into a stupor at his place in the central loop. Hard to say how much longer he'll be around. How many of you guys are going to strive to be night runners in, in this game? I, I generally avoid nighttime, like at all costs. But I know some people live for the night time. I can already tell. We got some night runners in the chat for sure. Lefto, what's going on? It's been a long time, man. Sebastian, I can't see your uh, previous message, man. You have to post it again. Definite. I'll be in the man. You, look at all these night runners in the chat. I'm not going to be a night runner, guys. Have you heard of kids who were in the GRE tests? Huh. And who wasn't in the tests? The young, the old, the blind, the deaf. <laughs> Curse wasn't Everyone good, came to find a vaccine. <laughs> Some for cash, others to cheat destiny and not get infected. But that was the devil's bargain of Villador. Walled in with the plague, but given the chance to be the ones who gave the cure to the world. Well, the virus won. The study was eventually discontinued. And the children? Officially, he said, thank you so much for no the sub, man. I do appreciate that. Human rights and other crap. And unofficially? And unofficially. Apparently, some of the kids were taken out of the city. The rest? Well, they just scattered around the city. Abandoned. If the infected didn't get them, then hunger... 
or darkness did. When did all this happen? A long time ago. Looking at you, you were still a kid yourself. Once upon a time, I came across two of them. Two girls. They were five or six years old. And it looked like they hadn't eaten for a month. What were their names? I don't remember. I threw what them the some old bread and took off yeah. because they were shaking as if they were about to turn. Red eyes, swollen veins. I don't know what they were giving them there. Those psychos from the GRE. Hey, Airborne, thank you so much for the membership and a hardened survivor at that, dude. That is huge. Welcome to the family, man. Thank you, thank you. Where are all these kids at now? After all those years, most of them are probably dead. If someone got luckier and is still wandering around, they will probably be in the central loop. More peacekeepers there. Keep Easier hearing about the survive. central loop. Someone must know more. Why? The past is the past, and there's no point in dredging it back up. Everyone has their own problems. Here and now, Pilgrim. Everyone fights for themselves. Um, I see people asking how is the game running. I don't, I haven't run into a single performance issue since I started playing it. Uh, we got an unspent skill point and, oh, we got parkour skill and a combat skill. All right, let's see here. So perfect dodge. Um, so we're moving back either side, a perfect dodge staggers an enemy. Okay. And the air kick. Ooh. I don't know. We might go with the perfect dodge. And then what do we got here? Um, active landing. Uh, reduce fall damage and keeps your momentum. Ooh, that looks super useful. And firm grip. Make uh, the last climb on ledges even when your stamina is gone. Okay. I think we're going to go with this, act this landing first. And I think I'm going to go with the dodge first. The air kick it looks useful, but... um. I don't know. I'm feeling the dodge, guys. I'm feeling the dodge. Water runs out. We're all gonna be fucked. PK really alive. Looks like there's another quest in here. I'm gonna have to get going. Yeah, exactly. The kick is very, um, very situational. Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Devin, wait! Crazy, I swear, man. I don't even sell water, damn it! Team is with the sub. Julian, you're fucking toast! Demis, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate that, man. Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe... Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen, he lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. 
Prove he poisoned it, and half my flower is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. Am I being set up, man? Gotta gig as a finisher. That's the pilgrim. Someone's gotta take care of the biters roaming the streets around the bazaar at dawn. I don't know. This seems off to me. Okay, so we got hands. Hands is number two. So we're going to go uh, notify hands first. We'll go to two. And then um, we'll go find the water supplier after that. Hey, Zeno Armstrong with the super chat. Thank you so much. Some support on your new adventure. I really do appreciate that, man. Doesn't look like fighters to me. It's that dangerous ass military checkpoint right here. Half health. Let's use that really quick. Oh, I didn't finish it. Yo, we got this katana though, guys. I'm so I, I don't know why I'm so excited about it. We got it for no reason. Okay, there's an event up here too. Okay, I... oh, oh shit, we went in the bus. Should be okay up here. Hands is up this way. I wonder if I can get in through this window. Dude, <laughs> oh shit! Holy crap! Hey guys, don't just go in the windows, man. Oh no, no, not like this! Guys, I'm a parkour master. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right, let's get some more health items crafted up because we're... Oh, shit. It doesn't sound like time stops when you go in the menus. Uh, can I show you the armor type? So, so far, the armor that we're rocking, um, we have what's called ranger armor. So... Right now, there's different types of armor you have. You got head armor, your gloves, jackets, which we don't have one of yet. Um, like bracers, pants, and shoes. And then, uh, obviously, there's different weapon types, and there's different tools and shit like that. So, so we're almost there. We should right reach this. Holy crap. 
Okay, here we go. Should be the guy's house right here. Hans? Hans, you there? Oh, don't tell me this dude drank the water and died. Hans? Hans, don't do it, dude. So I doubt he's an infected, and here's a UV light. What the hell? Scott, don't drink that water. Water? This isn't water. Oh, that moron must have taken the wrong bottle again. Forget his own head if it weren't stuck on his shoulders. Hey, what did you mean by the wrong bottle? He always takes a little rocket fuel with him when he goes hunting. But the booze is right here. That means he's got water. Where is he? And what business is that of yours? The water he got from Julian. It might be contaminated. He's hunting at this, uh, the military tower, a, a few hundred meters west of here. Unless he's at the courts. I'll go to the tower. You check the courts, fast. Wait, wait. Take the booze with you in case he's already drunk some of the water. I bet what's in this bottle will kill whatever's in that one. Yeah, don't drink the water. All right. Um. So number two is Marco, right? Yeah, find the hunting spot. What is he hunting though, by the way? Is he hunting? So we're in the quest area right now. I didn't see the guy down below anywhere. I heard somebody talking though. For fuck's sake. Damn it all the way up. Hans? Hans? Oh, you old fool. Hans? Oh, he's up there, okay. Oh shit, is this on the outside of the wall? Guys, look at that. Shit. Okay, so you can't climb up here. Maybe I gotta find a way in down below. Doesn't look like there's, like there's any doors though. Okay, so we gotta go go up across here. Metal man with the ten months, dude. To the family, Thank son. you so much. Yeah. Hans, are, are you Hans? What do you want? Did you drink any of that water? Goddamn right, I did. Tasted like piss. It's your booze. Take it. Your wife said Jason, Sean. what the sub? Thank you so much, man. Drink it already. Bullshit. What? <laughs> My wife said that. My Anna. She thinks the alcohol is strong enough to burn the poison out of your system. Ha! Huh. My Who woman. said thank you so much for the <laughs> sub? So she loves me after all, despite her bitching and moaning. And they say romance is dead. Here, for making my day. And maybe 
Saving my life. <sighs> Look, you need any help getting back? Nah, I'm good. Me and this bottle of booze still got some work to do. Uh, I don't think we've unlocked the wall runs yet. Um, I believe that's a, it's probably a, a, a skill. Again, I'm pretty positive it's a skill. All right, so now let's go. Leave me alone. I didn't do anything to you. Say, oh shit. What happened? There it is. Jay, I really do appreciate that, man. Thank you so much for the super chat. We got a good hit there. Metal Man 50k on the horizon. Thank you so much. 50,000 subscribers. I don't know about that, man. That's a lot of people, dude. But Metal, I really do appreciate that, man. Okay, so I think this is one of those, um, yeah, yeah, this is one of those rooftop areas that you can loot. Nice. So we got more resources to heal. Looks like there's uh, an encounter down here. That, uh, that kick is a pain in the ass, I'll tell you that. Definitely got to get practice. Peacekeeper rescued, so we just got some... I would have died. You deserve a huge reward, Poison's man. resistant booster? Yo, what are these boosters right here? So we have an immunity booster. Um... Oh! So, guys, say we need to go into a deep location, right? That's going to require us to be maybe in the dark for longer than normal. They have these immunity boosters here. This one restores 80% of my immunity and this one restores 35%. So once my immunity gets low enough, I could probably just pop one of these boosters and uh, be good to go. Swaney moves <laughs> that Bruce Lee would envy. Yo, I can't wait to see how good people get at this. I can't wait to get more proficient with the fighting here. Oh, 
Get off the ground. We gotta get up. There we go. I'll tell you what. Um, the thing this game does is it makes the verticality feel real. Like, when I'm sitting here on the ground and you're looking up at the buildings, it doesn't make you feel like that artificial fake. Like, oh, I can just get up whenever I need to. Like, um... You know what I mean? It actually feels high, like it's hard to get up into the upper, the higher areas. Okay, here we gotta be careful. Last time we jumped through a window. Okay, so we got one of those immunity boosters if we need it. I am low on health. It definitely heal up. So can you change your FOV? Let me see. You guys said it was in advanced video settings. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nope, that, that brought it in further. Yeah, guys, so you can change your field of view. So let's go plus five, see what that does. Not bad. Yeah, I got I got the booster too, and then all you gotta do is step in the light, and I think it refreshes. Hey, How's it been, kid? Yeah, see. Got a taste for city life yet? Yeah, I've been here and there. You know, the best part is always happening in the center, and that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything on the spot. Meet me on the roof near the main metro station. So he's ready to do some work with us. We got to go down. Before I head in, let me reset my timer. <sighs> Shit, we got to be careful. I keep forgetting about the stamina. Uh, so right now I don't have the ability to repair my weapons. Like I said, it might be a later uh, a, a skill. Um, but right now we don't have the ability. That, ooh, there we go. Got one of those immunity boosters right there. Brick. Opportunity weapon? Oh, use bricks as stat. Yo, it's like The Last of Us for real, guys. So we got, we still got a little bit of time. We're good on our immunity right now. 
got wiring. Nice. I can... We needed wiring to, uh... Mod one of our other weapons. Yeah, pulling out the FOB, yo, that really did help a lot. Yo, let me actually hit it one more tick. See if it... I, I, cause you just don't want it to get that fishbowl look. And that's what can happen sometimes you pull your FOV out too far. Like, that's borderline fish, fish bully. What do you guys think? Is that... that yes, yeah, that's fish bully is for sure. You can see it. Swiney, dude. Sorry to ask, but I missed it. What exactly is your timer for your... Mine right now is uh, five minutes and ten seconds. Okay, I can't get out this way. Why can't I get out this way? It doesn't make any sense. Down to, we're down to two minutes. Let's go, um... Oh, UV, UV. Okay, here we're good. Woo! So we went down in an area we were not supposed to even be in. Just checking out all this, see if there's any loot. <sighs> yeah, so uh, just so you guys know, when it comes to the um, immunity, the... Um, UV lights or going back outside resets the, your timer. All right, so I think this is Marco. Great. Another water thief. Just what I need. Between thieves and infected, I'll be out of business soon. <laughs> what are you talking about? You came to rob me, didn't you? I'm here because a guy named Julian claims you sold him poison water. I didn't poison anything. All right? Uh, Julian claims otherwise. Sure. Listen to the guy who sold me flour mixed with plaster. If Damn. you're not the thief, how are you with infected? I need to get rid of those things that are down there. Already, if already, not, I'm done here. I already did it, dude. Poison water or not. Okay, I'll get rid of the infected, and you tell me what happened. Deal? Sure. Deal. This is gonna respawn in the infected? So it might already be cleared because we cleared it? Okay, for sure respawn some dudes. Just one. Two. Okay, so we got a couple. <laughs> you guys see that zombie to teleport?
Infected trophy, rare. Infected trophy, uncommon. What the hell are the infected trophies for? Okay, so that's what this is all about. It was for a mission. Guys, we're at 1.1k likes, seriously? Make way, kid. Um, baby wizard, I'm not sure what's right, okay, you're safe. what's in the day one patch. Now, what's the story with the water? Go ahead. So you really are one of those fucked up pilgrims. Like, fucked up. Now we're safe. Gotta be a fucking criminal. Or pretty damn fucked up to drag your ass hundreds of miles through a world full of virus. Fucked up in a good way, of course. So, what about the water? There ain't nothing wrong with my water. The man at the bazaar was poisoned. You'll be blamed if he dies. <sighs> damn it. Okay. It was an accident. Okay? Uh, an accident. It's because of these goddamn thieves. Thieves? They're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. So, I decided to set the trap. So, you deliberately poison the water to kill the bandits? Uh, not quite. At least, uh, I didn't mean to. A, a while ago, I killed this viral that came crawling in here. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. The whole tub fucking ruined. Then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a Damn, lesson? Damn, dude. So I filled some bottles with the zombie water, sent them out where they'd be easy to see. They were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julian. Look, I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. Don't blame Julian and he'll hang. Don't you worry about Julian. A weasel like him will find a way to weasel out of it. And if not, then that's one weasel less in the world. Damn, dude, that's so, messed up, man. We got a deal? Oh, shit. I can really choose which one I want. I don't know, guys. They're really gonna kill Julian if, if if we don't bring this water, or if we don't. Like at least this guy can get away. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're not. Nah, it, it, we're. It was his fault. It's not Julian's fault. So just be honest and tell your story to the bazaar. It was an accident. You nuts! No one would buy even a drop of water from me ever again. I won't let Julian hang for something he didn't do. Fuck Julian. I got my own skin to save. So that's a story you ain't going to do. Oh shit, dude. No way. I'm so pushing your Oh, this dude is oh shit. I'm running out. <laughs> Surprise, asshole! Oh, how did he turn country all of a sudden? Fuck did he turn country <laughs> Oh this <laughs> Country as fuck dude there's no way <laughs> there's no way <laughs> Listen Try this on for size. Don't let him run. We're one hit, we're one hit. Dodge this, asshole. Oh, shit. Oh, we're doing no, 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 no. I just want to heal. I just want to, I just want to heal. 
There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. That's his final form. This is level three freezer right here, guys. Oh shit! I hit the wrong button. All right. This is perfect cell. Oh, his voice came back. He's not country anymore. There it is. There it is. Oh. Get wrecked, dude. There it is. Oh, yeah, so they have bottles and bricks. Um, weapons of opportunity, that's pretty dope. Man. That was good shit right there. That was good. We didn't get any weapons from him or anything though. So yo, he was like a boss fight. Like a human boss fight. So I'll take it. This is at nighttime. Yeah, it's nighttime. Um, shit. Is there a bed here? Uh, we got a problem here, guys. I don't. Okay, so it looks like there's maybe a potential safe area right here. Where is that? Maybe upstairs. Yeah, let's go check. <sighs> there a bed in here? Here we go. Oh shit, won't. So we can't sleep here? <sighs> Sunday shoes? Uh, I thought they were. Damn it. I thought, I thought it was like some uh, new like weapon we, or uh, shoes we could wear. I don't think we can. Check this area over here and see if the. Bring me up yep, bed. Help me. Oh, how can I rest here? Where's. Do we gotta turn lights on or something? Prepare the generator. We got a night runner's hide out here. Yo, that came in super clutch. So this is Dark Hollow. This is a loot source. Darkness brings out the infected during the day. They congregate in the gloomiest spots in the city. At night, they emerge to feast, leaving precious valuables behind in their nest. Um, high density of infected during the day. Scavenge val valuables. So these are like little areas that we can hit. I guess, yeah. The, the, oh, Forsaken. Air. This is a Forsaken store here. Um... So these are areas that would be good for you to hit as a night runner. All right, let's get back over to the bazaar. Finish up this quest. Uh. 
Dark Hollow and Forsaken Stories. Okay, yeah, we just learned about those. I didn't even do anything. Inhibitor container detected. Okay, so we got another inhibitor over here somewhere. I get in here. Get me out of here. <laughs> I don't know the code. Is there, I wonder if there's a note or something around nearby that would give me a code to the safe. <sighs> oh shit, so we found a, uh, <sighs> Night Runner hideout. Is there any codes on the walls or anything? I wonder if it's like, hey, it's Maribel. Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate that. I wonder if it's um, like Fallout where you can like move it around until you hear a click. I didn't hear anything. Oh, this box? Ah! Safe code. Look at that. Me over here trying to be cheeky and it's... Okay, so where is it? Um... Inventory... Backpack. Where the hell does the safe codes go? Collectibles. Um, 101. Really? Billy Noble, thank you so much for this sub, man. So, literally... 1... Zero. One. 
There it is. Wait, was that one empty or something? Or do I got to go to my skills to use inhibitors? Oh, I need one. Okay, I need one more before I can. I got it. What the hell? Somebody put him in a cage, dude. Help me, stranger, please. We'll help him. Help! I can't die like this. Hell, man. I can't thank you enough for saving me. Nice. I take this. Inhibitor container detected. Already found another one of those inhibitors. I grabbed it. It was a um it was a immunity booster. Looks like there's some kind of side quest up here. Kids shouldn't be learning. Awesome. So we got a trader here. Right? Used to add a few oh, these are craft masters. All right. Allow you to buy upgrade blueprints and uh, upgrade. Okay. Nice. Um, I see the uh, the zombie uh, trophies there. So this guy, you can craft UV bars. Oh, arrows, guys. Fire arrows. I need, I need a bow and arrow in my life for real. Okay, so he has venom and flame. I'm going to buy the flame tip mod. We'll grab that. And... Maybe we should upgrade our throwing knives. Or no, no, no. Let's upgrade our meds. Oh, I can't. I don't have enough uh, trophies yet. Or no, maybe I can. Yeah, you only need five and I have six. We'll, we'll upgrade meds first. Later. All right, let me see if I can go ahead and... Um, Damn it. I need a flame for the shaft. I already have it for the uh the tip on this one. I'm gonna so I'm gonna buy another uh I'll buy the other flame upgrade from him. So there's different spots on where you can put the mods on your weapon. Oh now we're super poor. 
And my my katana already has a modification in the in the um. Oh, can I not put this? Oh, do I not have? No, I have enough resources. Oh, because I was on the wrong spot. There. And then charm socket, an inhibitor pack. Uh, inhibitor pack, rare weapon charm that can be used to customize the look of your weapon. Really? I'm sure it'll be yummy. <coughs> you don't strike me as the right, we're good. I the time when I was cooking with my grandma. Okay, here's a drop. I have another three slot too. Yeah, I don't have enough resources. I wanted to trick out one of the machetes. Actually, I might do that. Oh, guys! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on. Look at my sword. Did did it gain HP? It seems like my sword's HP went back up after I uh, after I did that. Yeah, it's back to max durability. That's the only way of repairing? Oh. What's going on? Bevan's husband is dead. Julian's been accused of murdering him by poisoning his water. Aiden, please, tell them it wasn't me. Julian is innocent. A viral fell into a supplier's storage tub. The guy drunkenly sold Julian contaminated water. It wasn't a murder. You'd swear to that before the Bazaar Council? Yeah. Where's that supplier? He's going to stand trial in- Marco... He's dead. I... I killed him. And my job here is done. It's okay. I forgive you. That scum Marco got what he deserved. Thank you, Aiden. Half of my flower is yours. Yeah, the flower mixed with plaster? Huh? Uh, no. Where'd you hear that? Oh, yeah, so once, but, yeah, you know, it... Yeah, keep the plaster. Just pay me and we'll be even. All right. I'll tell Bibbin what happened. Sometimes if I stay out too long, I get the feeling that there's no one left in the city. Nice, we got a level two. Um, so hack on is here. He's right over here, um, in whatever this spot is, the Pumpkin Farm Settlement. For a PK, he seems accessible to me. Maybe that was his problem. What if there's nothing to it, and this is just some random thing? Do you believe that? No. Well, really quick, let me craft up some more health items. Now we have level two heals. We gotta get up top. Uh, 
swank fleet. Uh, since we've been playing, dude, we've seen maybe one bug, dude. One or two, like, and, and it was a teleporting, a zombie that, like, teleported. Hakon. Hey, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city, the VNC Tower. <laughs> was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot-tempered, even for my tastes. What about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof, you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base. In the country, dude. But, yeah, all the all the bugs we've seen, the two we've seen, have literally been just funny. <clears throat> Alright, so the Peacekeeper... So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. Oh, you won't meet them here. For now. So wait, you brought me here to take a look at the Peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the metro technical station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. We can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night, when there's less infected in the tunnels. Of course, dude. A lot of pumpkins, man. Huh? Icon. There's a creature I haven't seen before. What does it look like? No, no, not a big one. Extremely fast. Probably a bolter. You can find some interesting stuff on them, but catching one requires serious hunting skills. Now is not the best time for this, Aiden. Head for the tunnels. I think that's probably the best way down. I wonder if I could throw the money. But these guys aren't like state in case zombies they they don't die instantly from fire damn it areas should be clear enough for me to get in here though shit I think that zombie's coming Come on, dude. There it is. Ooh, that was
was close. Crash bags? Okay, so I'm actually probably gonna have to pop one of those um, inhibitors. Or one of the, uh... What should we call it? It's these. Pop one right now. Okay, so that one ahead and gave me a little bit more time. I got a couple of these two. So I definitely advise you guys when you come into this area, make sure that you have some of these um, these inhibitors. I don't I don't see how you could you can make it. Th see how you can make it through this without them. I mean, you could probably go real, real fast, but... I'm in the tunnel. Okay. Shit, now you definitely need the these. Infected. There might be a few, or a few dozen. I'm already in the BK base. I'll throw a UV flare through the vent, and you'll see how to get to the main station. We're in the metro now, guys. The blue UV shrooms have the same effect? They do? Okay, nice. So, yeah, farm up some shrooms, guys. Or make sure you have these uh, inhalers. How much do the shrooms heal for, though? The shrooms give you 35. So the, the shrooms are the same as the low-level um, inhalers. There was actually some of the shrooms when you come in here, though. Yep, and there's some in here.
Uncommon resource. So we'll sneak through these vents here. Was there a generator? I didn't see a generator. Where at? The one down here? Oh, this little thing? Oh, no, that's an air compressor, man. Sneak around this side. Yeah, we can probably sneak around. Hey, Jesse, thank you so much for the sub. Are, those guys are all alive and standing. Sneak this way. Good thing there's no fucking volatiles in here, you know what I mean? Yeah, we're playing the whole game, yeah. Yeah, guys, my, if you guys are new to my channel, I, I do gameplay videos. So, um, we're going to play through the whole entire game start to finish. Um, I do that for many, all the games that we play. Uh, we'll be playing this tonight. We'll also be playing it tomorrow uh, when I get up. So, we'll definitely be having a lot of this content coming. Loft Muppet. So if you guys are new to the channel, you know, you gotta, you want to help support, hey, you guys could uh, smash that sub button if you guys uh, want to get notified. Been getting so many subs today. I really do appreciate it. Oh, got another invisible zombie, baby. There it is. Let's loot up. Uh, 
Love Muppet, though. Thank you so much for the sub, too. I appreciate it. Uh, no, the game isn't out early. I got early access to the game uh, because, obviously, I'm a YouTuber, and I contacted Tech Techland. <coughs> okay, so... And, um, they gave me early access. So, again, I want to thank Techland for allowing us to test the game out before it was available. So all of these are... I want this chest, though. Shit. Ozen, thank you so much for the sub, man. Yeah, zombies can see flashlights in this game, dude. But it's cool because you can use it to, like, draw them over to you. Hey, Monarch, thank you for the sub, man. Right, that worked out. But it's just the awake zombies. The, the ones that are, like, slumped over, they don't seem to react at all. We got so many likes on the stream, guys. That's mind blowing. I really do appreciate all of you. <laughs> oh, hold on. What did we just find? We found a decoy. Throw to create a loud, ongoing noise that will attract and confuse the nearby infected. So it's probably like the firecrackers from um, Dying Light One. Those might come in handy here soon. Hey, Cuckoo. Cucurito, thank you so much for the sub. I do appreciate it, man. So this guy's is green, which means he wasn't killed by the infection. That means he was just killed outright. How the hell are we going to do this? Sneak around. Sneak around. We're not wasting any decoys. They try to get you to use the decoy there, but I'm not... I'm not might get into a situation up here where we can. Hack on. I got to the flare. Look around. Woo. The technical tunnel to the main station should be well lit. I've already lured the guards upstairs. I'll chat them up while you get inside. So as you guys seen right there, the UV light um, got our immunity all the way back up. Nice med kit. So let me, let me top off for free here. Oh, wait. Does this one not work? Oh, they died out. Of course they did. Oh, oh shit. Him. to craft some more throne knives i'm pretty sure um because this guy seems like you have to fight him from range i love the game man this game is sick stay behind cover <laughs> I'm 
mean, thank you so much for the sub, man. <laughs> Got him. AB Gaming with the sub. Guys, you showed so much love. I really do appreciate that. So, yeah, so those those dudes, a um, little bit of a pain in the butt because they, they have a ranged attack. Um, I'm pretty sure you probably just close the, the distance and take them out. Actually, uh, we should be okay. PG Trance, thank you so much for the sub, man. Welcome. Here it is. Mike J, man, thank you. Okay, so those have no power. So if they have power, I wonder if you can open them. I'm playing on the normal difficulty right now. If, if, like I said, if the game gets too easy, we're gonna end up cranking it up. But um, hey, back to being. Thank you for the sub. <laughs> and no, we really haven't experienced very many bugs. Like some stupid little funny things, but that was about it. So I, I I think our goal here isn't to fight these guys, right? We don't want to kill any of these the PKs. They were easy, normal, and hard. This. King Lion, thank you so much, man. Turn that off for a sec. I don't, because it's, I know for sure the humans can see your flashlight. I'm inside. Five packs. Think about it, and I'll be right back. I'm on the platform. Open the airlock. I'll be there in a second. Dude, I've seen some containers over here that we could loot. I haven't tried co-op yet, no. Nobody I know besides a couple other YouTubers um, got early access, so. Tons of loot in this area. No bad guys. Royalty, thank you so much for the sub and welcome. Doug, what's up, man? Hey, everything's going pretty good tonight, dude. So I think that's it. Let oh. me go. I got a family. Let's get through this airlock. Damn. Hey, why 
are you doing here? Good night. Yeah, he did a real good job, guys. Our partner in crime left Where the Zagan. Where did he come from? He was wandering through the tunnels. Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. Hmm. Doesn't look like a renegade. <laughs> oh, there we are, tied up again. <laughs> He's awake. Don't punch me. What were you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. How is it that you lost saw nothing, heard nothing? And you managed to forget about the ban on passage. Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth. And you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always Lucas is said... dead. And now I'm in command. You've read the reports. A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. Looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone. <clears throat> Where did you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridges collapse. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. I think you do have to choose What's the factions like that you want to work with. Days? When was the last time you were out of the city? About 15 years ago. And then there are that many fewer survivors. And that many more infected. Stands to reason. Most people endure living in this hellhole because what's out there has got to be so much worse. My wife and I lived in England. I had two sisters, two brothers. Haven't heard from them for ten years. Where did they live? In and around London. From what I've been told, London doesn't exist. There may be four settlements left on the entire island. Fucking hell. So, I know, um... Aiden's sitting here saying that, like, the... I, I don't know. I don't, did, did you guys think the outside world was worse than what was in here? I thought it was... I thought it was worse in here. Why would anyone think I killed your commander? You tried to escape to the central loop four days after the murder. Besides, if I were Carl, I'd hire a stranger to kill Lucas, too. It's the cleanest way. Well, I don't know who Carl is. Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Carl keeps both hands on the steering wheel. He's a faux sanctimonious prick who's turning the entire bazaar against us, even though we protect them. What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. And you came here to take shelter. I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone? Hmm, maybe I can help you. But not for free. I'm used to trading. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer. Shit. Commander Lucas. His body was found get our in the detective bazaar. On. Horribly mutilated. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But Command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Vilador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. And what do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. 
A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me, and I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot, and we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. I wonder how much the game can change, you know what I mean? Like, what if we find out who the murderer is? Like, is, is there a way to not tell them? And, uh, oh man, I, I, I don't know why how like, I work with RPG you? this can you go. You attacked me and accused me of murder with no proof whatsoever. Our mistake. You're clearly not the murderer. Why can't you investigate on your own? I hardly know anyone here. That's exactly why you can Aiden sounds so much like Crane, Nobody it's crazy. Talk to us. To them, we're occupiers. The fact that we clear the streets of the infected and catch criminals, doesn't matter. What matters is that we eat their food and drink their water. But you, you're a pilgrim. There are many ways you can help people. And you're from the outside. They can trust you. They tried to kill me. Nah, look, we are your only chance. If you want to get to the center, that is. So, will you help me? Oh shit. Yo, it's so crazy. Um, I, I hope the PKs don't end up being like the Brotherhood of Steel, you know what I mean? I, I, I mean, I guess we could try to help them. So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Vilador suffered much. First, it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. But people here learned not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. You'll be the first one through, once justice is done. Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. Look around. Ask people. And don't come back empty-handed. Good luck. I get some food in the canteen we have a canteen and a hospital at our base like in the army not like in the army this is the army we're bringing order to this fucking chaos and who are you well dude if this was the army man you need to shave that goddamn beard bro i'm a courier i travel between the zones pilgrim and you got it it takes balls to wander off road like that That beard ain't the standard, man. <laughs> I haven't seen a uniform like yours before. I'm a carrier. A carrier? What's that? I belong to the Carrier's Guild. I'm one of many. If there are so many of you, why haven't I seen your uniform before? We're discreet. We're entrusted with valuable information and therefore keep a low profile. Now your profile isn't so low right now. Indeed. Our headquarters are located in the center, and the only passage right now goes through the subway tunnels. The peacekeepers control the passage and aren't letting anyone in or out of the center right now. Until they do, I'm stranded. That sucks, especially since I'm in need of some information. I can't help you. We have a strict code of confidentiality. Only our guild master would be authorized to share information. And then he's the one I should talk to. Any other ways I can get into the center? Not that I'm aware of. On the surface, the border of the center is a no man's land. It was devastated in a chemical attack, cutting this district off from the center. The air and ground are poison. Girl, Only mullet. the most freakish of monsters can survive there. Damn. Well, I'll have to find a way. Somehow. Good luck. Find a hazmat suit. Get across the dead zone. Hey, hack on. Are you there? Aiden, buddy. Cause you're alive. Yeah? 
I got caught and questioned. Good. They didn't kill you. Meet me outside. Ten player, thank you so much for the Superman. I can't believe he literally Final Birdie donated five dollars. I wrote the us. name Bill Nye on some Otherwise blank paper. There will be a rebellion. It was odd. <laughs> help us in the investigation. We'll help you with the bandits. Thank you so much for the donation. Already. Nobody in the bazaar had anything to do with Lucas's death. Then why won't you let us search your homes, huh? If everyone is so innocent, then there'd be nothing to hide. Keep your brutes away from our homes, Anderson. So you're hiding someone. Time is running out, Carl. You don't hand over the killer, we'll raise your precious bazaar to the ground. Sow the wind and reap the whirlwind, Anderson. Don't bite off more than you can chew, old man. Aiden, come on. I'm on the roof next to the metro. Dude, it's it's going down between these two factions right now. Uh, I want to go check out their their um, people don't like craft people. master. See if they have any new mods. So this is a toughness booster. Reduces damage taken. The mines. Here we go. It's a mod, so we can get fling. What is fling? Hit one enemy in front of you with a blast, instantly throwing them back. Oh, so you can throw reinforcement on a weapon too. Uh, reduces, uh, increases the durability. I'll hold off on buying any of that. Let's get you fixed up, okay? Yeah, I'm, I got 19 coins. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm pretty poor. That's why I'm about to try to sell some stuff. I got some extra weapons here, so we'll sell this. Sell these junk weapons. Yeah, so we got all these valuables here. Almost back up to a thousand guys. Yeah, there is. We hit we we hit a thousand. Sell this extra hat. Okay. Hate seeing you leave, so come back sometime. <laughs> Let me see what this... I didn't see what this guy had this for sale. So, oh, he has a scrapper hammer. It's a blunt weapon. High durability, too. That, that, the durability on that's pretty good. Almost 200. That's higher than anything I have. No, I got one right here, but 210. Yo, the antique hammer is durable as hell. I should actually get some... Uh, let's We're, we're going to get some mods on that. that. That seems like a really good weapon. So the blunt weapons have really good durability. So yeah, let me go ahead and uh, see if we can get some mods on here. We'll do uh, do spark and flame. Dude, how are you just gonna leave me, bro? Stop spinning your wheels and talk to me. So, what did they want from you? If you've been there like you said you'd be, I'm... Oh, oh, I did my best. I didn't know there was anyone else in the tunnel. Lucas's death is a big deal. 
They love this motherfucker like a father. Ato doesn't have Lucas's charisma. He's gonna have problems. Ader said he might let me through to the center, if I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon, the Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. He believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer. An artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debt right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. And what's his name? Hubert Carbazos, also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Every day he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, let's keep in touch. All right, so now we got to go over to the bazaar, I believe, and actually look for... Oh, no, no. What is this area? Oh, this is the, uh, the, the fence, dude. Okay. So this is PK territory. Okay, so we got a um, center stage. I can really be able to see much from here. We could head over and take out those bandits right there. Uh, let's head over. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's go take care of those bandits. Those PKs? Well, fuck me. You coming out to face this, or are you a coward? Oh, you know you're messing with a PK, right? Oh shit, those are PKs. <laughs> PKs keep the area clean, man. Oh, we got some zombies here. I was about to say, dude, like, the survivors, there is full of zombies, you know what I mean? Okay, so we gotta get up high ground. So we gotta jump on that as it comes down, I guess. Easy enough. I don't like someone sneaking up on me. You Hubert? No, not me. I'm waiting for Hubie too. So get in line. Got it. You know when I'll be here? Maybe in an hour, maybe two. 
You never know with old Harfast. That said, he's got the best moonshine. So, worth the wait. Mm, nothing to do but wait, I guess. Hey, you Hubert? Who's asking? A customer. I want to buy something. Hey, you're that stranger they wanted to hang, aren't you? Hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. B wait, I just want to buy something. So, that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep. Apparently had an urgent appointment with another customer. Rather than chase him down. Yeah, sure. Right now. Uh, How? He's running away. Nah, sounds like you be. Oh, wait a sec. I see him. Also's running to the northeast. Let's get our parkour on point. <laughs> Faster, Aiden. You almost got him. No, not like this! Oh, oh fuck! Park boys on point, right, guys? I don't know if I can... Can I climb that? Yeah. Nope. Nope. It can't. It can't. Sweetie, dude. I'm out. Everybody, hey, take five rest. Thank you, thank you so much, dude. Hey, get that good sleep, all right, man? We'll catch you tomorrow. All right, we got to find... A, oh, right there. I see it. Wang, thank you so much for the sub, man. So these are like the climbing puzzles from uh, Dying Light 1. Hubert! I just want to talk! What's up, dude? Don't hurt me! I don't know anything! About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything, I swear! I'm told that you're a fence, hmm? A fence? No way! A reseller, maybe, but... I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah, I used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. And don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. You know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> that weapon is way too hot. Why did you run away from me? Because every five minutes, someone's coming after me, man. Okay, I may have given people a reason to be mad, but I'll make things right. Soon. Eventually. Maybe. How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles, hmm? I didn't say that. Come on. Everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always showing it off. 
if anyone thought I had Damn, him, thank you they so might much for the think sub. I killed Lucas, which is bullshit. Yeah, but someone tried to sell it to you, right? I told you, I... Okay, fine. Maybe someone did, but I can't say who. Client confidentiality. Well, stop fucking around. Tell me, or I... Her name is Maya. I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square, near the old butcher shop. But I don't know anything else. Leave me alone. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. All right, I can find that. Hey, Hakon. Hubert said someone tried to sell him the Lazarus. Do you know Amaya? No. Strange, because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. Meatpacking Square. It's a fucked up place. There are some barracks there. The army set up in 23 when shit went south. She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that overlook them. Okay. Stay in touch, bro. Caleb, talking about the graphics in Unreal 5, the problem is, man, is... You already got people crying that the, the game's not going to be able to run on old hardware. If they upgrade to Unreal 5, Xbox uh, One and PlayStation 4 is obsolete. And like I said, there's already a ton of people that are worried that this is already not going to run on the old system. So if they were to go too far with the graphics, which they could, um, it would it, it, the game wouldn't run on the other consoles. Andrew, thank you so much for the sub, man. I do appreciate it. Holy shit! All right, so there's a safe zone right here. We're gonna claim this. These guys so fast. Goodbye. Oh, lucky bastard. No, no. <laughs> Slide right off. Surprise, motherfucker! Oh, that was a big hit. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, you can repair the durability on a weapon. Um, by we repaired ours earlier by putting a uh, mod on it. Some kind of event down there. We're gonna go check that out really quick. Inhibitor container detected. But you guys gotta remember too, this is all before day one patch. So I know there's like a thousand plus bugs or whatever that's coming out on day one. Oh, here we go. Take the spear, and it's a throwing spear. Oh, it's an opportunity weapon. Okay, got it. Let's 
So anytime we see the the spears, we know we can pick them up and throw. Ah, oh, damn it! Running low on uh, lock picks here. Wanted to get that safe area up there. I could probably climb the pipe here. 60 FPS? 60 FPS is more than good, yeah. actually getting late anyway, so we should probably claim the safe area and pass in the morning. <laughs> so this is our first windmill I think we've activated. And faction structures. Uh, activating a windmill creates a safe area around it, which provides a resting place and protected protected by UV lights. Um, an active windmill enables nearby abandoned structures to become faction structures. Why does it keep making that noise, dude? <laughs> These buildings will uh, contain merchants as well as offer new quests. Challenges. Oh shit. So you want to make sure you're doing these windmills guys. It kind of like brings the area to life uh, The nature of faction structures depends on who controls the surrounding area um, If not already you must assign the zone facility to either peacekeepers or survivors This determines the people who um, whose quest you'll find in the area Okay, I think this area is what? Well, this area is not owned by anybody. So wait, right here we have the Horseshoe Water Tower facility. Um, it says it's locked. Change the city alignment. Bring water to the zone. Activate a safe... Oh, shit. I don't think we can do that yet. It says it's locked. All right, so let's head over, check out, uh, yeah, yeah. Or we could go hit this, this area here, um, at night, the GRE quarantine building. Nah, screw that, screw that, we won't answer that. <laughs> I'm not about that life. Go over here and see if we can find these brass knuckles. Holy shit. Oh, the map is huge, and this is just the starter area, guys. Um, there's, like, the actual, like, big city down here that we haven't even got to. Uh, inhibitor in here. 
GRE anomaly C8. What the hell does that mean? Whoops. What's that noise? Inhibitor container nearby. You have entered a GRE anomaly. Return at night to face the monster. How the hell would I want to do that, dude? Is there a way inside? All right, it is getting dark though, guys. Oh shit, we gotta we gotta delete the or defeat the monster at night in order to get. What kind, what kind of monster is it though? I mean, yeah, we'll we'll wait. Screw it, guys. We'll we'll see what, what's going on. Inhibitor container nearby. Got these a spear of opportunity here. Come on, all right. What the hell is that? To face the revenant. It's bastard. Okay, we hit him. That spear did nothing. Make sure we're watching our uh, infection. Oh shoot, he shoots fireballs, dude. did that. It's not like I can set it off. Um, unless I hit it with this. Nope, that just killed the damn zombie. Damn it. Alright, we can try we can try to get close to this damn thing, but there's so many zombies down low. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's get some more uh, throwing knives crafted. Oh, hit the tank and then throw it. <laughs> Shit. All right, I see I see what's going on here. Wait, you can't. You can't pick it up once you set it off. That happened. That, that totally happened. Um. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you can't, you can't. Oh, it said hold X to ignite. Yeah, so we probably got to do that. Hey, where am I? Thank you for backing me up. At least the wife is good. 
1.3k likes guys thank you so much holy crap that's a record that is a big big record thank you everybody hmm. yeah i kind of want to go back and try that again that shit was hard though RY, RXY, thank you so much for the sub. Okay, we gotta be careful that we don't um, set off any of the howlers. Dude, that looks like somebody shot off a flare. Hey guys, I'm a night runner. We're screwed, we're screwed. Ow. Ow. Let me get back here and heal. So the virals are going to make this a little difficult. Alright, we're going to... I'm just going to... Oh, we got another viral. Hey, you can do it. Thank you so much for the sub, man. Thanks so much for the sub. <laughs> what? Get up. Our, 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 humanity, our immunity is getting a little low. Pessy. Hey, Salva. Guys, thank you all so much for the subs. The weak spot is his back. Okay. on fire. That worked really, really well, actually. Yeah. <laughs> 
Jin Jin Jump, stuck. No, not like this, not like this, not. No, let me go. Guys, I got stuck. Super stuck. It was, it, was, it was like I fell behind there and then I was just like stuck, stuck. I, I just couldn't, I just couldn't move. <laughs> we almost had him though. Definitely possible. I thought I, I I thought it was super super bad. Ow, dude! Can I craft Molotovs? I don't believe yet. I don't think we have the uh, recipe for Molly's yet. Ooh, holler, holler. Clear the horde with the gas tank. Yeah, I gotta um I, I can't I forgot about like the well I we used we the gas tank the one time. And we'll die. Let me see, can I Oh, you're always so negative What the hell are we now? About things, Naira. Because you don't have Let me see. So I don't think I can craft Molotovs. Should have hit the walls. Yeah, I should have hit the walls. Yeah, so we can't craft Molotovs yet. Yo, sometimes when you're playing, guys, dying light. I just, I, you just go, you know, especially when you're being chased. I don't know the map. I don't know the the layout of the. You know what I mean? I'm just. Sometimes you just jump. You jump and hope for the best. Yeah. Holy shit. Explain the gear tiers. I have no, I don't even know about the gear tiers. I know there's like level one, two and stuff like that. I'm just as new at this as you guys. Um, this is my first time ever seeing or playing this game. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah. I didn't set that one off. Good job. <laughs> Too short. That that actually might set the second one off though. Oh, he's too far away from it.
So you can't even jump when you got these in your hand here. So much damage when he's uh got that gas. Oh, that hurt. Ow. And uh I set him on fire. Just straight fire. Oh, that was my chance. Got yeah. two minutes left. You don't want nothing to do with that. Let's get out of here. Mortars, man. <laughs> no, not back here. Anywhere but back here, dude. So we got Old War Wine, and we got a trophy from that. <coughs> Should have opened up this area. There it is. Uh, when your immunity goes all the way down, I, I, I think you die. Well, we, get, we got a mask, guys. Got some new head right here. Dust filter artifact headwear. Um, headwear for a brawler. A class focus on dam dealing damage with one hand weapons. Stamina regen. Um, we got damage resistance against human enemies. Damage resistance against um, infected. Stamina cost. Oh, yeah, this is pretty good. Way better than our medic cap, for sure. And we just look like a badass now. Sure. Do we get any other? I don't think we have any other. Uh, yeah. Let's get our immunity up. Supertoneman donated five dollars. Looks like an interesting game. <clears throat> Supertone, thank you so much for the dono, man. I appreciate that. All right, so we're gonna go to a uh, safe area. Got two minutes. It should be a long. That should be more than enough time to get us over there, so we don't have to waste any more. It's only 60. We'll make it. <laughs> hey, 
There we go. Alright, so yeah, we'll check this we'll check this main mission. It's another shitty pipe. We gotta get in right over there, too easy. Is that a legit viral? How do we get downstairs? Hmm. A shithole indeed. I thought that was a zombie, dude. It's a kid. A kid needs his ass whooped for screaming like that in the apocalypse. That's just a badass kid. <laughs> That's literally just a badass kid, guys. <sighs> All right, I don't know. What the hell are we doing over here? We're looking for Maya. The mirror? <laughs> What mirror? at the ceiling. Yo, how the hell do you guys know this stuff, by the way? Vent in the bedroom? Hold on. I know, I hear that shit right here, dude.
I'm just saying, if, if, if that was my son screaming like that in the apocalypse, game over. Game over, dude. Look above the bed. Let's go over here. Um, the game is pretty damn cool. Oh, I see. I gotta jump up there. <laughs> you bastard. Really, kids? Hey, kids. Um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. <laughs> it was so funny. Maya ain't a grown-up. She's just a plain old girl. What? You were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. How did you get a hold of a peacekeeper weapon? We all found it. Was wandering around with these punks and ran across a corpse. Happens a lot. He was totally dead. We searched him, and I took the brass who's a Watsits because I figured someone would pay a pretty penny for him. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. You expect me to just hand that brass who's a Watsit over? Are you nuts? The Hoozy What's It's real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay, I'll give you this stupid thing, but for 500. That's a lot of money, kid. Of course it is. Life's damn expensive. Hey, I Skull, have to thank you so much for the sub, man. For my brother. <laughs> He's turning 12 soon, you know. I can give you ten, and that's my last offer. Ten? Deal! Nobody wanted to buy it anyway. How you go from 500 to 10? <laughs> Alright, so they just found the, 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 the knuckles on a, a body, so... Go from 500 to 10. Over here, jipping little kids. Yeah, I know. Just jipping the little kids. Um, That was one of the things I noticed when we first started playing, guys, was how familiar this guy's voice is to, to um the crane from the first game. I, I don't know if they did that intentionally, but I, I there's moments where I think he sounds identical to crane. Does anybody else hear that? I might just be me, you know what I mean? But I, I, I literally, to me, it sounds like Crane. I can upgrade again. So we're going to go with another stamina. And then we'll do a health. The smartest will survive. Set me free. You guys want to see that? Yeah, so this is the starter area. 
Um, got like four zones that you got to probably do. And then I think this is the central whatever the hell. And this is like the area we're trying to get to right now. And that's all I can see so far. Looks like there's some area down here too. So these are the two areas that I can see so far on the map. I don't know if there's more map than this. Looks like there is stuff out here, but this might all be outside of the uh, the city walls. I th yeah, I think all that's outside of the city walls. Hey, Hakon. I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay. Alright, we made it out. Um... So we're gonna head up to this uh, windmill over here. We'll claim this windmill, make it a safe zone, and then I think we'll end the episode for tonight. Um, like I said, guys, we're gonna be doing a ton of dying light content. So uh, tomorrow, early afternoon, I'll be streaming this again. So uh, hopefully we'll see a bunch of you guys there too. Shit, how the hell do we... we grab onto this? It's not working. There it is. So I won't be able to uh, assign this to anybody yet. I don't think how that's how it works yet. Unless this one's in the PK territory. I don't think this one's in PK territory. Nope. So this was just another windmill in this territory. So uh, next episode, we are going to, um, we're going to try to activate the windmills in the actual faction territories and see what happens. Like what's different. Uh, my PC, I have, um, my, mine's a Omen HP. I got a 3060 Ti and, um, an AMD 5800X 50, for my CPU. All right, guys. So we are going to save here. Uh, thank you so much for all the support tonight. I, I really do appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys had a good time. I hope you guys are enjoying this game as much as I am. It's, it's really, really amazing. Um, one of my mods just posted my actual PC right there. So you can click on that and see the exact computer I have. Uh, so, again, thank you guys so much for hanging out tonight. I really, really do appreciate it. Like I said, we'll be doing more of this tomorrow. So uh, hopefully I'll see a bunch of you guys there. Uh, if you haven't already, hey, smash that like button on your way out. Looks like we got, like, what, 13, 1,400 likes? That's crazy. Man, I, I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really, really helps out. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.